Hi, welcome to the stream. How are you? Hi. Hi. Hi there. Hey, how are you? Hi. Let me turn this down a little bit. Just a little bit more. There we go. Hi. How are you? Hello, I am Grank. Oh, hello there, Grank. <laughs> That's not your fucking name, bud. That's not your name, bud. Brennan, I missed FNAF 3. How'd it go? I, uh, I beat it. And then I gave up immediately on 4. I love watching... I love staying up at odd hours to watch Brent Daniel read streams. It's not that odd for me. It's like 151. It's not that odd. Ain't an odd time for me. Your time zone is going to be a little goofy. Mine? Exceptionally normal. Yeah. I've been streaming a lot later recently, uh, mostly because the wife gets home, we go for a walk, we eat dinner. I like to wait for her. I, uh, I, I got a normal amount of sleep, though. So, you know, Brendan, you have to power through. You're so close to peak FNAF gaming. What, the sister location? I beat that one. That one fucking sucks. <laughs> I gave up I gave up on FNAF 4. I, I I said no, I don't want to do that one. And then I beat Sister Location. That one also sucked. They say exotic butters in that. I don't care. <laughs> ah. Thank you, Snacks Lotto, for the gifts or the tier one sub, by the way. Pretty cool. And that pizza simulator? Oh yeah! That's a video game people play. And FNAF World, the... Gotta play Pizzeria Sim, Brendan. I'm like, I don't know. Dude, how do you... I don't know how to make the pizza. You better make the pizza? You gotta make... There's a, there's a game where you gotta make the pizza? It's crazy. I got a game where you make the pizza? What are you fucking doing? Trying to figure out what she was doing. She was behind me. Carpet gets caught in the wheel sometimes. Pizza Sim is fun when it's the simulator part and then it's just regular FNAF. Lame. That's the other pro pro to having Cam is um you get the baby. Hi Beals. Don't growl. Don't fucking, don't fucking, don't fucking yell at me. Don't yell at me. Hi. Hi. You want to escape? You want to say hi? Look at her. She's so cranky. She's such a cranky little baby. Aren't you? Yeah, okay. You go. Brennan, why do you look like you run a Onceler X Jack Frost Tumblr page with those glasses? I, these are the glasses I wear when I fuck your mom, so... Your mom fucking loves my Wunzler fan art. I'm just saying, she loves it. I read it to her while I hit it from the back. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Is Beale still evil? Yeah. Brenda gets meaner every day. If you want to come out and pull punches, I'm going to punch back. That's all I'm saying. It is well within my right. To punch back if somebody punches at me. If you want to fucking own me, then I'm gonna fuck your mom. <laughs> Listen, dude, I was a veteran of Xbox Live Party Chats. Not only will I fuck your mom, I already have fucked your mom. Past tense, not post tense, past tense. I don't give a fuck if I go blind. Another spicy one, Brendan. These are just simple. These are just simple little jocular jokes. If somebody throws something at me, I'm going to throw back. Brendan, my mom is like recently divorced, so thanks, man. She needs the company. She's going to love it when uh, when she sees the macaroni art I make. You're going to love it when you see the macaroni art I make of me banging your mom. She's SpongeBob. <laughs> Milf Hunter, Brendan? Yeah, get me my, uh, get me my scope. Where's my fucking... 
me when I'm on the prowl. I'm married. I love my wife. I'm not going to fuck your mom. Just don't be rude. All right. Uh, Fortnite, baby. Fort. Okay, make it. Does the audio work? Okay. Fortnite, baby. Where's my, um. I got to find it. Give me a moment here. Fort Fortnite, baby. I haven't cared this season. I, I really am trying to give a shit this season like bad. Uh, because they got all the quests. I gotta do the level up quests at the very fucking least. But this season has been increasingly awful for uh give a fuck a dude, I feel. After a certain point. After a certain point, I really stopped giving a fuck this season. I don't know why. I don't know why either. I was just like, you know. At a certain point I just stopped fucking caring about this season. And I think it was when I got, like, sniped from, like, f uh, fucking 50 miles away that I was like, you know. You know. Maybe, maybe. Maybe I'll put this one down. But I was like, you know what? I'll flip a fucking coin today. I flipped the coin. Fortnite won. So I was like, sure. You know what? Fine. New season's on the horizon. We'll do one last, one, one last stream for this season before we get into the next one. Brent Daniel, Fortnite skin. Whoa! Be fucking horrible. You wouldn't sell a single fucking one. Brent Daniel, Fortnite skin. Be like, oh shit. Oh shit. This one, this one's just stuck in the shop, ain't it? Uh, this all sucks. We'll choose this one, I guess. What the fuck is that? I thought that was Peely. Oh. I thought there was a Cyber Peely for a second. I was confused. Uh, auto shotguns and snipers are pretty unfun. I mean, there's at least one unfun gun every season, but at least. Like, for me, uh, that unfun gun is definitely... It's, it's, the sniper is weird, because you ha if you have it, you can have a lot of fun with it, but if somebody else has it, it's, you're, just, you're, de you're dead. You're just, you're just dead. The weekend skin was in the shop forever. I, I don't have a problem with the item shop, because who gives a shit? Like, it's a, it's a fucking store for, like, cosmetics. My, my more problem is, like, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay this season has been really lack lacking after a certain point. I feel like they could have added more weapons, but they really wanted to focus on the weapon modification uh, gimmick. And I'm not, I, I don't mind it, but like when all of the guns except for the sniper and the auto shotty fucking suck. And I mean like all of the guns blow ass. Um, you kind of got to look at your game and be like, listen, maybe we should put a like a good fun gun in this. Or at least bring the other guns up to the level where it's not just... The shoddy and the sniper. Because, I don't know, for me, multiplayer balance, I mean, no matter what you do, multiplayer balancing is going to be hard. Thank you, Pop Pinamite, for the prime sub! Um, multiplayer balancing is going to be hard no matter what you do. I just feel like the, the sniper and the auto shoddy are just incredibly, incredibly strong. Um, and instead of, like, nerfing those, why not buff the other weapons? But then, you know... You don't want the you don't want the you don't want the you don't want the lackluster gamers to have the ability of normal gamers, am I right? You don't want lackluster gamers to, to have the ability of normal, strong, powerful, uh, the, the vibrant, huge gamers, right? You only want the big gamers to have the big gamer power. Because if anybody else has the big gamer power, then they don't freaking deserve it. Because they're not a big enough gamer. Give us a fart gun. Let us make a little stinky on the battlefield. And over your brap cannon, soldier, we're going to make a fucking mess with the Despicable Me collab. Put on your minion back bling. Let's get ready to fucking rock, babe. Honey, I love you, and I love having intercourse with you. But I will not fuck you until you put on the minion overalls. You know what I'm about, babe. You know what I'm into. We will not have coitus until you put on the minion overalls. Now, I'm just saying, if I hit it from the back and you say banana, I will come. So hold on to it for a bit, all right? All right, so close. Need my Trailblazer Lynx, the skin I'm never going to fucking use. I don't know why I bought this level up pack, too. No idea. Especially for a skin I'm never going to fucking use. This one gets vaulted. Give those level ups. Vile? That's what I'm here for, babe. I'm sorry. Minion back shots. Yeah, banana. I'm so. Oh, 
I may, in fact, be the worst person on this side. I do not mind. Buff Gru? That'd be crazy. You're, you're speaking insane. Make Gru just buff Gru. You're, you're insane. You're out of your fucking mind. Um, I think I, what the, I think this guy is one of the guys I have to kill. So unless, a, unless a player fucking gets to me, I can maybe get this guy. Let's see the single shield bot. There he is. Oh God, he's got friends. Oh God, he's got friends. How do I play this game again? Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, baby G. Oh Lord, Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. That was a real person. There it is. Thought so. Knew it was going to happen. Anyway, a billion level ups. I'm sad they made the chicken fat, but not Peter. I mean, uh, people talk about this all the time, but if you look at like the model size for Peter, let, let me let me look at the chicken real quick. Let, let's take a little look. Let's talk about model size. So realistically, if you look at Peter's, uh, hey, Peter, hey there, Peter. Hey, Peter. I've been working on my Joe impression, by the way, so let, let, let me let, let me have you write this one for me, chat. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Oh, I gotta close my window, by the way, so my neighbors don't hear this. I don't want somebody walking around and they hear that from... Hey, hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Come on over. Hey, Peter, we, uh, we're going to be throwing back some broski. Uh, hey, Peter, keep it open? No, no, no. Let me talk about the model size, because, like, let's look at, let's look at Peter, um, and realize that his shape, his legs in the normal, I, I, let me, let me pull up, let me pull up Peter Griffin real quick. I'll pull up a real Peter Griffin image. Peter Griffin real. No, not real life, not real life. Peter Griffin, let me just Google Peter Griffin and get a full body shot here. There's a full body shot from the Family Guy Wiki. Let me talk about this, because, like, I think this comes from a basic misunderstanding of proportions, right? This is the reason why Peter is buff. So look at Peter here. Um, versus the chicken. Let's pull up the chicken. How, in an effective way, would you be able to do Peter Griffin's legs? That's that's where I think the concern comes from. Is I'm assuming they were thinking about like trying to find a way to make Peter normal size. It's 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 not about the the hitboxes, right? Because the hitbox stuff is all it's all fake. It's all bullshit. Um, that's 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 all the hitboxes are the same. The model sizes being larger and and more colorful means, of course, you're going to be an easier target to hit. But I mean, hitbox sizes are the same. It's about Peter's dookie stance. Yeah. The reason Peter is muscular is because there's not a good way to put him in the game um, without them. Look look at his stance here. Look at his legs. He's got the wide stance. His legs are too short. It's not about the gut and the butt. It's about the legs. His legs, Peter Griffin normal legs, too small. So if you wanted to compensate for the size, then you would have to effectively make the model huge yeah. big. Yeah. Yeah. So realistically, thank you, Snacks, a lot of the gift sub. Realistically, the reason Peter is the size he is is because they couldn't make it. They couldn't do it any other way. I, I really don't think they could. I mean, I, like, I maybe a way to give him a bit of a gut, a bit of a butt, but I really don't think I really don't think you could do Fat Peter in Fortnite. I I didn't think you could do the chicken either, but like. Is that fucking Chica? What, from Five Nights at Freddy's? No. You don't have that in the game. Come on. Let me get these dog shit. Let me get these dog shit super styles here. Come on. You see, Lois. You're a fucking normie. Not yet. Yeah, we don't have the FNAF. We don't have the... F we don't have FNAF yet. Not yet anyway, babe. That's Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. No way. No, I don't I have no idea what you're talking about. No fucking way. Five Nights at Freddy's. I never heard of that shit before. 
You telling me that people spend five nights in a pizzeria for a hundred dollars? What a bunch of morons. Want them to add FNAF just so it's easier to know which people to kill? Wow, wait. And there's some dedication. Wow, wow. Sounds like you got a little bit of a problem, huh? Maybe grow up a little bit, Buster. Fucking pff. let people enjoy things, why don't you? Oh, gee, is it getting hot in here? Or, oh, gee, oh, gee, is it getting hot in here or is it just me? Ah, oh, gee, maybe let people enjoy things, Buster. Is it getting fucking hot in here? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, Buster. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 BRB gonna watch the new dungeon, Meshi? Oh, I'll spoil it for you. They make food. They make food while somebody gets digested for... 285 chapters. <laughs> Crazy bit. They make food. You can, you can find that on the internet. Yeah. Crazy dungeon meshy spoilers. They make food while they wait for somebody to get digested for 285 chapters. <laughs> I think I think dungeon meshy is a really pretty anime, um, and manga, but also the premise is one wherein you can watch one episode and be like, "Yep, I get this. I don't need to watch any more of this." I watched eight episodes of dungeon meshy, um, because people were talking about it. I'm like, "Yeah, it's a trigger anime. Yeah, the food is really pretty." But then I watched them and I was like. I did. I I could have just watched one episode, and I would have like that. That would have been enough, I think. But they do. Do they uh, eat the food? They do eat the food, and it's really pretty food. Uh, but otherwise, I'm like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not feeling anything here. I'm dead. I feel nothing. I think it's fine though. I think it's it's, it's like a fine. It's about the journey. The journey. It's a fucking basic. It's a basic. No, it's not. It's about the food. Dungeon Meshi is literally the most bare bones dog shit dungeon anime manga. But the food looks really good, and that's it. And even then, when it comes to the food, it doesn't even do anything interesting. It's just food, which is fine or whatever. But it is also the most bare bones, balls to the wall, basic fucking dungeon explorer anime with a neat gimmick. With a really neat- Brendan's being so fucking mean right now. Hey, I've consumed far too much fucking media for me to be impressed by anything in anime. But I did like the living armor bit, and I do like the food. I just don't think that any anything aside from the food um, is a reason to watch it. And that's just me being honest, because I, I don't think that anything beyond the food in Dungeon Meshi uh, makes it interesting. The food is the reason I watched it. I was like, you know what? I saw one episode. I don't need to watch any more of this. Whose fault is that? I mean, I want to consume media. When you get older, trust me, as you get older, the more media you consume, uh, the worse it gets. <laughs> That's just the way it works. I do also just think that, like, the basic story premise is just kind of fucking dumb. Uh, but the food is good and the visuals are really good. But also, I'm not, like, saying the, the, the anime overall is bad. I, I'm saying the premise is bad, aside from the, the food, the gimmick. And the gimmick holds it. In, in a lot of ways, in manga and anime, um, the gimmick is the reason you watch it. And Dungeon Meshi is a very good gimmick, and it's very well animated. But all of the characters, I couldn't tell you one fucking character. There's the dwarf guy who's like, whoa, dwarf guy, which, uh, fucking, I'm gonna blow my brains out. Uh, there's the elf girl who's like, whoa, I'm not gonna eat that food, and then I blow my brains out every time. Um, there's the thief guy, and it's like, whoa, I'm maybe gonna eat that food, and then I blow my brains out. And then there's the guy who's like, I wanna fucking fuck the monster. And it's like, cool, the, the four characters of uh, the anime. Like, it's fine. It's like, I, it's, yeah, I get it, I understand it. Uh, the manga will go on until it gets cancelled, uh, 258 chapters in. My sponge brain can't take this cynicism. It's fine. It's just like the yeah, these are the these are the guys. There's the the dwarf. There's the elf, 
Every episode is, I want to eat that food. Well, I'm the dwarf. I want to make that food. Well, I'm the elf. I'm not going to eat that food. Well, I'm the thief. I'm maybe going to eat that food. And then the elf is like, ah, oh, fuck. Glad I ate this food. It tastes so good. Fuck, I'm mad. I'm mad I ate minotaur penis. I'm not going to eat minotaur penis. Ah, oh, shit. I ate minotaur penis. Damn it. Son of a bitch. And it's like, yeah, I did, that's fine. I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, also not saying it's bad. I just, um, when it comes to, when it comes to any fantasy anime, um, I'm always just looking for something different, uh, because the bare bones dungeon, um, aesthetic is just not interesting to me. But also like, yeah, if you like it, like it. I mean, my, my dislike of the general tropiness of it, it, it shouldn't ruin your day, Buster. My, uh, uh, let people enjoy things, let people dislike things, too. Like, I'm not saying you're a bad, I'm not saying, hey, you're a bad person for liking this thing. I'm not, you shouldn't be personally offended because I say that it's mid. Um, just understand that it comes from a place of, like, this is where I have experienced way too much media for me to I enjoy this because it is not a wholly unique concept. But I can enjoy it enough to be like, yeah, maybe I'll finish this, we'll see. What anime do you like? I like Odd Taxi. I like Nietzsche Jill. Died again, it's fine. Um I like I like some parts of JoJo. Uh anybody who talks about JoJo, I'd rather get myself hit in the head with a with a steel beam than talk about JoJo. I'd rather actually I'd rather actually somebody run me over with a car than talk to another human being about JoJo's bizarre adventures ever again in my life. But it's fun, I like it. If I get as jaded as you, I'd blow my fucking brains out. I mean, like, grow up, maybe. <laughs> but like I said, I mean, Dungeon Meshi, it's good. It's fine. It's got a good gimmick. I just like every episode is the same. It's like, there's the food. Dude. All the characters will do the thing. Uh, and then maybe when they get to the dragon, something will be a little bit more interesting. Although, it's going to take them eight seasons to get there, so... Jaded? I here's the thing. The more you consume media, yeah. Yeah. um, you just become naturally yeah. jaded towards it. Thank you, Foul Brood, for the tier one sub. You you will become more naturally jaded towards media. Any media you consume, especially if you consume too much of it. This is why I went on like a two year not watching any anime streak. Um, because I was like, I can't I, I need to be able to like watch shit again without being like this is uh, th I've seen this before. Inevitably, if you consume too much media, you will become jaded to it. Um, it's the way it is. And that's that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's easier to find out why the bus is gone. An easy way to figure out what you like in terms of like trope and storytelling. Uh, my, my criticism comes from a place of like jokes too, right? I, I really like to describe anime um, in a way that'll make people angry because <laughs> it's really funny to see chat get mad. I, none of this criticism comes from a place of like, this is stupid and bad and fucking awful. Even though it sounds like it, I like to, I like to say it this way because it, it shows me who, <laughs> it shows me who you are, i.e. I know when somebody gets mad uh, because then I find out that it is a core part, part of your personality and I'd like to dissect it, please, like a worm. Um, so if you get mad at me for saying that your anime is dog shit, actually you fell for it and that's what I wanted, so. I'm an antagonist, I'm antagonistic. I like to see who, I, I like to read the room on how, um, how important this piece of media is to you. Which is like an evil thing. Uh, I think Dungeon Meshi is fine. I think it's tropey. It's whatever. It's it's popcorn, right? It's fun. Enjoy your poop corn. The only anime that's part of my core personality is solo leveling because the fights are awesome. Uh, yeah, name one important thing that happens in solo leveling. Name one thing that happens in solo leveling that um literally matters. I'm <laughs> that's Manwa, right? Solo leveling is Manwa, right? Right. I fucking hate pacing in Manwa. I despise pacing in Manwa. Manwa pacing is so fucking awful. Got a high school solo leveling. Um. God, what's another one? Fucking uh, the gamer. 
Manwa, Manwa pacing is so bad, dude. I don't know why it's so bad, too. Like, I just, I don't get it. Got a high, the got what is it? The got a high school uh, cartoon was impossible to watch. Nothing happens in solo leveling. No, nothing. It's it literally infinite level. It, it, a lot of manhwa that is like solo leveling is literally just we're going to keep going until we get canceled with no satisfying narrative hooks. Which is yeah, that's just the way it is. Like it's 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 like comic books, you know. Comic books do that sometimes, where it's just like infinite power scaling until we need a full reset and solo leveling is one of those two where it's just like yeah this is gonna go on and keep scaling until it literally doesn't make any sense thank you i freaking mosaic cool don't get brendan started on cultivation manway's greatest enemy cultivation manway's dog shit because a the, you literally got me started in this. this. This was an evil fucking trick. Cultivation Mon was the fucking worst of the worst because it it literally it makes no fucking sense, and all of the rules change from Monwa to Monwa, and they never stick to anything, and it's all like the worst power fantasy shit you've ever seen in your fucking life. You did this on purpose to get me fucking started. I love in the Cultivation Manwa, where it's like, yeah, the strongest people, um, they are able to buy the strongest, uh, mo the key and chi pills, and that will make them stronger, and, like, the main character's thing is always, I was reincarnated, so I know how to make the strongest pills to have the coolest spirit beast, and my spirit beast is the coolest guy, and it's like, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, Buster. I get it. Okay, buddy. Okay, Buster. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, sometimes I like enjoying, uh, like, especially when I'm depressed. When I'm depressed, I'll, I'll watch garbage, which is when anything that is incredibly pulpy and tropey. Um, and I, garbage isn't, uh, I don't mean garbage is like it's bad is the thing. Garbage doesn't necessarily mean that something is bad. It means that it's like, this is bad for me. It's terrible for my brain. This is not- this is not growth fluid. What about the wrong way to use healing magic? I would rather shoot myself in the fucking head than watch something that is so fucking awful. Like any of the mage manga. Any- 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 every single mage manga about a fucking healer. If you unironically watch or read that, I- I'm so fucking sorry. You are already lost. You are already- there is no fucking hope for you. No, the- the problem with those is there are a lot of, like, revenge fantasy. And the revenge fantasy involves a lot of, um, uh, just, hey, what if I mentally broke this woman in a psycho way and made her my slave? All- I, I've never seen- I've never read or- or seen a good, like, healer-based manga. I've only seen the bad ones. Most fantasy anime is so fucking boring. Well, yeah, because it's based on Dragon Quest or, like, the most boring, uh, basic fucking, uh, okay, goblins and dungeons and slimes and kobolds and it's, like, the most bare-bones shit. Um, and, it, like, that's my problem, too, is, like, I've read so many fantasy books that explore so many different uh, potentialities. Like, uh, uh, fantasy isn't just elves, dwarf, goblin, orc. Like, I'm so fucking sick and tired of that from a personal standpoint. But like I said, that's a me problem. That's not a you problem. The reason I'm critical about uh, certain things is because, like, dude, I just... I'm so fucking tired. Um, and that's why I stopped consuming those things for a little while to see if, like, hey, if I give this up for a little bit and go back into it... Am I going to be able to like it? Nobody is brave enough to be Berserk. Nobody is brave enough to be Berserk without just straight up copying Berserk. Um, I, it's, 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 it's incredibly hard to be, uh, a hundred percent like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A hundred percent like, oh shit, what's the brain word I'm looking for? Uh, original, right? Original, originality in fantasy is hard because so many, so much of fantasy is firmly rooted in uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, and then when you do original fantasy, it's a lot harder to get a brand new audience into it because then you have to be like, hey, 
These are the plorples. They're the evil race in my book. Hello? Is anybody there? Do you want to read about the plorples? No. No. Because you have no spark of joy left in you, Brendan. I have sparks of joy. I love originality. I crave originality. Zesty, zesty, zesty style even. If you think I am jaded, it is because I am a little bit world weary. I'm a little bit jaded, absolutely. But uh, also, like, I, I used fantasy as an escapism as a child, and because I consumed too much fantasy, uh, I just, it's, it's like seeing through the code. Inevitably, I'm sorry, but you're going to see the code. As you get older, your favorite things will get worse for you. It will happen to you. It will happen to you. It will happen to you. Especially if you have, like, media literacy. Like, it's... I wish I had none. I wish I was fucking stupid. Um, Then I could just watch anything. Wish I was fucking... I wish I was dumb as fuck. But I'm smart as fuck. <laughs> I wish I was dumb. He says, being like, yeah, actually, you're stupid for liking things. I... <laughs> nah, like, there's a lot of... I mean, seasonal anime, too. Like... Um, Odd Taxi was the last one I really enjoyed, and it's because it was something I hadn't really seen before, even though I had seen parts of it before, you know? And that's kind of why. Like, originality is, is, is great, but also, there are a lot of things that it's like, I want to watch something that's comfortable. I want my warm, comfy blanket. Brennan, I'm watching you stream. My media literacy cuts off at the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. Fair, fair. Love having a smooth brain. Fair, fair. Absolutely. Uh, I'm cursed with knowledge, burdened with health, burdened with brain. I thought I was going to get funny haha bits from the Fortnite stream, but all I got was depression. Hey, blame motherfuckers for bringing up anime. Ain't my fucking fault. Somebody brought up fucking anime. You blame Roach. Roach had to be use the chat as Facebook and be like, Ah, oh, I gotta watch Dungeon Meshy later. Uh, can I get some likes? And it's like, hey, you want to use the chat as the Facebook? You open up the door for anime discussion. I'm just saying. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, you don't want that door open, don't open up that door, babe. Do the Fortnite rap for us? We love Fortnite, yeah. Fortnite, yeah. I'm going down to the Fortnite, yeah. Getting my dance with my funny pants, and we're getting some fucking Fortnite, yeah. Oh my god, blame me. I mean, hey, I'll blame you, absolutely. I'm gonna deflect immediately. The only anime I really watch, JoJo. Listen, let, let's let's talk about something really funny, which is um, I never want to talk to a single person about JoJo ever again in my fucking life. Uh, <laughs> I would rather I, I I love Jo I love parts of JoJo, but like I would rather never talk about that anime ever again in my fucking life. If you've been in a conversation, if you've been in a Discord server, uh, in a Discord call for multiple hours where it's just a three to four hour long conversation about JoJo. Um, nothing is worse. I, <laughs> I like it, but you, I don't know if you've truly suffered until you've been in a conversation with people trying to talk about literally anything else. And the conversation is just a four hour long Jojo talk. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything worse out there, which like, I'm all fine with like people having their interests, people sharing their interests. Um, but like when you're like 10 people and two people in the in the call are talking about JoJo for four hours. Dude, you will never want to watch JoJo ever again after that, I tell you. I'm telling you, dog. You got tra trapped in the JoJo podcast recording? Yeah, I, I got trapped in hell. Uh, that was like four years ago, and I was like, you know what? I'm never watching this shit again. Okay, so there's somebody up there, and they're trying to fucking pop me. Come out of the- come out of the bush. Come out of the bush, I dare you. Hey, check this out. Cool car, cool car. Hey, cool car. Check this out. Where are they? Damn, where did they go? Damn, they ran away. Bitch. Where did they cower there? Why do they have to cower away from me? Come on. 
watch if I, I don't even know where that car came from. I didn't know. I didn't. Did they have the car in the bush? Like, what was that? Where did they get that car from? Free car. What were they even discussing? I think it was just like power scaling bullshit. And then also, what would your JoJo stand be? And I was like, I, I don't give a shit. I. <laughs> I've gotten that question before, too, after that incident, and I was like, yeah. people ask yeah. me, Brendan, what would your JoJo yeah. stand be? And my answer is, I don't fucking care. My JoJo stand is one that activates and then it brains me with a hammer. Brendan, who's your favorite Sonic girl? I don't, I don't care about Sonic, dude. You know this. I'm sorry. I don't have an opinion on this. I, I genuinely don't care about Sonic. I'm so fucking sorry. That's one of those- Sonic is one of those ones. I do not fucking care. I do not like it. Brendan, who's your favorite Power Ranger? The white Power Ranger- wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Probably green. And blue. Blue. When I was a kid, I loved the blue Power Ranger. Um, because they were like a kid, and then they turned into an adult, and I thought that was the coolest fucking thing ever. Hot dog. Brendan, who's your favorite Hanna-Barbera cartoon character? Am I, do I have to say Snagglepuss? Probably Zorak, Brack, and uh, Space Ghost. <laughs> Brendan, that's the worst one. I know it's the worst one, but I thought it was the coolest thing ever when I was a kid. Everybody hates Turbo Blue, Brendan. I'm sorry. I'm the one guy who likes Turbo Blue because I thought it was the coolest thing when I was little. Listen, I was a little kid and I thought it was fucking sick that he was a kid. He turned into a big guy. Brendan, should I even attempt to get into manga or anime? Everything I hear about most anime in their community makes me want to stay far away from it. There are a couple of good shows. I really like Nichi Joe. Uh, Nichi Joe is one of my favorites because it's a it's a gag comedy. Um, and none of the, it's about high school go girls and none of the characters are sexualized. Like, not in the slightest. And that shouldn't be like a thing, like a pro, right? That this anime about high school girls has, none of them are being sexualized. That shouldn't have to be a pro. Um, and it's weird that it fucking is. Uh, but it is. And I like it. I like that anime. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm fucked. Yep. Ah, damn, bitchin'. Shouldn't be a nice thing that I have to say. But it's a really, it's a really good show. It's about 24 out 26 episodes. And it's just genuinely funny. What's your favorite Minecraft block, Brendan? Um, the hot dog. Hot, hot dog. Hot dog. That's Peter Griffin. That's me. Hot dog. Uh, but also, like I said, uh, if, if I seem jaded or anything about the anime or, or anything like that, I, it's because I am. I'm <laughs> Hot dog block. I don't know what the... Who, who, who guy do I want to be? Maybe obnoxious. We'll be a little pink. We'll be a little obnoxious. Megatron? Nah, we'll be a little obnoxious. I'll do one game with this one. We'll swap it. Yeah, I don't know. You also get to give me a break when it comes to talking about anime because I am getting out of my, like, I hate anime phase, so I'm still going to be a little jaded until I find something I really like again. So you got you to gotta take everything I say about anime with a grain of salt because I'm mostly not serious. But if instead of Fortnite, it was Freak Night, you only got kills by sucking toes... What if it was called Cork Night and it was a game just for moms to drink wine in? Wouldn't that be sick? Wine moms need a video game. They need it. Wine moms need a video game. 
Cork Knight, think about it, they can get kills. And instead of a victory royale, they can get a victory brunch. You could drink so many daiquiris in Cork Knight. Brendan hates anime and thinks everyone who watches it are nerds and dorks. Listen. You're not wrong. <laughs> Listen, man. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Brendan, what type of wizard would you be? Uh, ball crushing wizard. I want to be a techno mage. I want to like, I want to be a techno mage, but with just a limited amount of power. Not enough to like do anything cool, but enough to like fuck around with, uh, with somebody's like iPad. Oh shit. Old snake. Gimme. Sorry. 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 Didn't mean to. Sorry. Sorry. Egg. What do we got? Do we got to dig? Oh, that's finding the mosaic caches. Got it. Oh shit. Run away. No, come back here. What are you doing? What are you? Why are you so silly? Gotcha. Sorry. Why do you have five of these? Well, how did you get five of these? What a twisted fucking psychopath. That man's a windy binker. Why the fuck did he have five of these? Where did he get five of them from? Oh god. Oh god. Yep. Okay. We're fine. Where the fuck did he find five of them? Come here, I gotta kill the- sorry, I gotta kill the chicken, come here. No, get back here, sorry, I need- I need meat, sorry. Thank you. I need a little chicken flesh, thank you. Why did he have- why- 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 why did he have only fizz? This motherfucker fall to the brim with it. I think I- I think there was a bot, and I think it spawned in wrong. Did he buy out the NPC? Oh, he must have bought out the NPC. Never mind, he's probably real. Sorry about that, Buster. I was just talking about Cork Knight. That guy was experiencing it. That was a wine mom. Holy shit. Did I just get wine mommed in Fortnite real? What the fuck, dude? How, how can you fucking do that? Just play uh, <laughs> RP as wine mom in Fortnite. All right, Buster. All right, Buster. We got more of these. Uh, where am I at? Where am I? Where's my character at? Am I blind? Oh, there I am. Okay, so that's the closest one. Got it. Cork Knight, real? You have any shows or manga with weird or unique power systems? Uh, read Worm. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you to read a fucking book. I've... What? <laughs> Brendan, I, the, Brendan, I'm, I, Brendan, what about little pictures, Brendan? I need little pictures. No, read Worm. One million words, web novel. Read Worm, no pictures. Get in there. Go read Worm. Worm's fun. I like the power system in Worm. That's my favorite super, that's like my favorite superhero power system, I think. But Brendan, I can't read. That's fine. Get somebody to read the funny little pictures at you. Look at those funny little markings under the pictures. Those are words. I can't read. Hello, 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 hello. Goodbye.
How much do we have to pay to have you read Worm to us? Uh, zero. I'm not gonna do it. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of worm work. You know how much an audiobook is? An audiobook is a lot of work. That's why I don't do that shit. It's- it's- it, it'd kill my fucking throat. Goku? Real? Oh shit, hi Goku. Come on, Goku. Fucking... Die? Nope. Son of a bitch. Goddamn son of a bitch. But aren't you Brendaniel Reeds? I haven't been Brendaniel Reeds in a while. I don't know why people still call me that. I- I changed my name. The only thing that's Brendaniel Reed still is my fucking YouTube URL. Brendan, who would you voice... Would you voice it a visual novel, though? Yeah, if it's a paid gig, yeah. Brendan, would you do a paid job? Yeah. Hi, Brendan. Do you like to make money? I do. I do, in fact. You can't change your YouTube URL? No, not without fucking up a bunch of shit. I mean, I could, but it'd fuck up a bunch of shit. A bunch of hyperlinks uh, over the ages would get fucked. So, no. Same reason why when somebody offered me the... When somebody... One sec. Uh, can you chill? Can you chill? Thanks. Can you run an ammo real quick? Thanks, Busta. Damn! Damn it! Same time! Why would somebody offered me the Brendaniel Twitter? Like, the, somebody got a hold of, like, oh, just at Brendaniel. Brendan, do you want this? I said, no. And they were like, what? And I said, no, because then I'd have to go in and change the hyperlink for a billion older videos. And I was like, nah. Brendan, would you let them make a YouTube's of you? I don't know, maybe. Nobody's gonna... Who the, who the fuck wants to own that? <laughs> Who wants to have that cursed idol on their fucking shelf? Imagine. Who wants that? Yeah, I want this eldritch fucking horrible little creature. I want this little cretin on my fucking shelf. I don't know who the fuck would want that. You two are still a thing? Yeah, they, you buy the doge one today. I don't know, shit. Why your Doge you twos? Put it on your shelf so you can look at it and be like, whoa. Oh, shit. Yeah, isn't you twos more so like a meme now? Like they're just doing anything and everything. They're just like, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. They're just Funko Pops now, right? Yeah. How did Fortnite get all the rights to these characters again? Because the, the, you buy the skins, so of course the company that's licensing it is going to make money. Because money? Companies were like, we get money whenever you sell one of these? And they're like, yeah. And so it's like, mmm, money. Brennan, when are they going to sell 3D printed scans of your head? Don't worry. We're, we're already in talks. We're already in talks, obviously. We are in we are in so many talks about the 3D scan of my funny little head. Uh, you're going to be able to put it and port it into any video game so you can smash it like a melon whenever you feel like it. You're going to be able to smash so many variants of my head like a melon. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. It's going to blow your fucking mind. here uh sir we're gonna finish this fight 
I like how Brendan always has a little bogus. That's my son. We gotta finish this fight. Me and my son. They should make a version of Willy Wonka but for a beef jerky factory. I love how everybody, by the way, talking about Willy Wonkas, uh, reminds me that everybody and their mom is, like, fucking making fun of that AI-generated Willy Wonkas shit, and I still... I'm like, I'm like, this is the funniest fucking thing. Some bozo trying to make money off of AI-generated bullshit, and they're going... They're just getting laughed at universally across the world. Is the funniest fucking thing to happen. Come with me, and you'll see a world of pure disappointment. You will find all this slime, and then eat one piece of candy. Funniest fucking thing ever. But Brendan, the unknown. Insane that I found out that, yeah, there's also... Uh, there. Uh, not only was the artwork AI generated for the event, but also the creator of this fucking Willy Wonka AI-generated nightmare had a chat GPT write a fucking play for the event, which made up a magical evil chocolate maker called The Unknown, who lives in the walls of the Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. And like, how... How... How do you not... How do you just say... Yeah. Yeah, this is the... This is epic. How do you just, how do you look at what chat GPT slop generates for you and you say, yeah, the unknown, this is epic. How do you, how, how? Genuinely insanity. If it's, if it, if it is some kind of weird ARG, that will be funny. Uh, but also I don't think it is. Um, the, the Willy Wonkus. Yeah, the the art is AI, the script for the play is AI, and it looked it looked as sad as TumblrCon. It gave me whiplash back to TumblrCon with the ball pit. People are saying it's an ARG. I mean, I'm assuming that somebody is probably I, I saw somebody say it in the chat and I'm like, are people saying that? Because that's even funnier. It would be really funny if people thought it was an ARG. There's no way somebody could be this dumb, and it's like, I'm so fucking sorry, Buster. People are this dumb. It was somehow worse than Dash Gun. Well, yeah, because it was for kids. And people brought their kids. Because they were like, oh, Willy Wonkus. Awesome. My kids will love that. And then it's just this incredibly sad, empty warehouse with a couple of little things here and there. Like, I. Dash Con. No. DashCon didn't have the Spinebreaker ball pit. That was, uh, TwitchCon. TwitchCon had the Spinebreaker, uh, foam pit. Breb Knight, me. Have you seen the Oompa Loompa Meth Lab? I did see the Oompa Loompa Meth Lab. It's, it's insanity. The, 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 like... The way that, like, this, this event even happened... When, like, I... Dude, if... W the only reason it, it came into the public eye, like, and that people are making fun of it across the world, too, is because a mom called the cops on the event. Which, in itself, is also insane. Think about how many events people have tried to do just like this that are even sadder, that haven't gained prominence. Because a mom called the cops on the event. Which is even sillier. It, and it just kept... It keeps getting sillier, too. Ah, damn it, son of a bitch. Damn it, son of a bitch. Auto shotgun, as always. At least at Brendan Con. If we ever did BrenCon, I, I, would, I would let you kick me in the balls or something. At least at Brendan Con, I would let you kick me in the balls. Like, if I... <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve a chance to kick me in the balls. 
Brent Kanyo. I'm just going to be standing in the middle of a giant empty warehouse and you're just going to run up to me and kick me in the balls. I'm not kicking Brendan to the balls. Wow, white knighting there? Are you white knighting me right now? Hey. Are you white knighting this? Because this is incredible, incredibly bullyable, Buster. You could bully this son of a bitch until the cows come home. Look at this incredibly bullyable face. Look at this dude right here. You could drive this guy to, I don't know, take a bunch of ibuprofen and fall asleep in the bathtub, but... Incredibly bullyable face right here. I'm not going to lie. Hyper bullyable. I need my strongest Brendaniel Warriors. Only the strongest Brendaniel Warriors for this stream. I'm calling out to my strongest warriors. Bullying is bad. See you say that, but if somebody bullies me, it's it's all about the, the recursive loop, right? If somebody bullies me, then I'm allowed to bully back. So <laughs> here's the thing. If you incentivize bullying, the trick the trick to bullying is you have to incentivize the chat to bully, because then you can bully back. I'm not gonna punch down on chat unless it's really funny. Um or unless like you're making fun of me. Like, bullying isn't funny. Unless you're getting bullied and you bully back, then it's funny. You gotta kind of create a recursive loop about it. There's bullying and then there's banter. I'm more describing banter. Brendaniel nut kickers versus Brendaniel nut defenders. Who is strong enough to defend my fucking testes? Sad, you died to the... Fucking family guy chicken. So fucking sad, Buster. What a horrible day for you. What a what a horrible day for you. Just a little bit of banter. Hey, hey, Peter. Just a just a little bit of banter. Hey. Peter. Don't be so sad. Just uh just a little bit of banter. Hey uh, Peter. Just uh just a little bit of banter, Buster. I uh I think you'd get your feelings, sir. Gotcha, sorry. Ready? Right, if you could make your own Fortnite collab, what would you pick? Full loadout. Uh, Dr. Scholl's. The shoe inserts. You get to play as the shoe insert. The pickaxe is the shoe insert. The back bling is the shoe insert. Think of how comfortable it could be. You can utilize the shoe insert. No, I wish to spread kindness and joy. This is so terrible. Me, when I'm the, I'm the Grinch... I'm grinching out, and you're like, Brendan, I'm gonna spend kindness. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna share kindness and joy, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, but I'm grinching out. The glider, it'd be a foot insert. Hey, uh, Peter, take the poison. <laughs> take the shot, Peter. Take the shot. Take the shot, Peter. You gotta take the shot. Peter, if you see an enemy in the distance, you gotta take the shot. Take the shot, Peter. Peter, you missed. Try again. Peter, take the shot, Peter. Peter, take the shot. Peter, Peter, they're there. Peter, they're right there, Peter. Take the shot. You got him. Great job, Peter. So proud of you. Take the shot, Peter. Take the shot. Do it. Do it. Take the shot. I believe in you. You saw him. Where'd they go? Find him, Peter. Take the shot. I'm not even playing as Peter. I'm the fucking chicken right now. Hey, Peter. Take the shot. You love RPing with yourself? Okay. Grow up, baby. <laughs> what is a bit, Ben? Huh? Describe a bit to me, huh? Like, what do you want from me? You little freak? I'm gonna drop an anvil on your fucking head, Roach. Just you fucking wait. Take the shot, Peter. Peter, take the shot. 
Bader, take the shot, Bader. Bader, take the shot. Bader, take the shot, Bader. What are you doing? You're silly. Right, you knew I'd run out of ammo, didn't you? I just gotta get a lucky shot on you. There we go. Told you. Sorry, George. Is a man not entitled to the funny of his bit? Yeah. No, says the chat. This is not funny hour. We're watching you to get pro gamer strats, Brendan. Not the funny, Brendan. I'd be like, I'm with the family guy chicken. Get this fucking chicken out of my lobby. <laughs> I love the family guy chicken. It's such a dog shit skin. It's gonna be one of those skins, too, where people are like, whoa. Sad they never put that in the shop anymore. It's so rare. And it's like, dude, you shouldn't cook your chicken rare. Chicken should be well done. Duh. You gotta cook your chicken big style. Oh, I don't have any. Sorry. You got any uh, sniper rifle ammo? Thank you. Oh, I should take that, huh? Uh, I'll swap that with this. Funny drum shotgun. The drum shotgun is so fun. If you need a sniper rifle in Fortnite, maybe try the drum shotgun. And if you're looking for an effective shotgun, maybe try the drum shotgun. Are you looking for a pistol or a sidearm in Fortnite? Maybe give the drum shotgun a chance. And hey, are you looking for the best weapon to be able to take out any of your enemies? Use the drum shotgun. Thinking about using a different weapon? Maybe try the drum shotgun instead. Wondering what kind of weapons can really give you a competitive edge in Fortnite? Well, try the drum shotgun. Maybe the drum shotgun. Or even the drum shotgun. Crazy, huh? Watch me fucking die because I'm swapping a weapon. There we go. A little richer, huh? The clip of the Fortnite Pro or whatever getting mad over the chicken skin is funny. Dude, some people take video games very seriously. Some people are very, very serious when it comes to their video game. Don't make them freak out. They will. They'll get you. They'll come for you. Don't make them freak out. Or they'll get you. Frenzy shotgun is fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I only hate it when somebody else uses it. That's the rule with these weapons. If I get killed by a sniper, it's a bad thing. If I kill with a sniper, it's a good thing. This is how this works. If I get killed by it, it's bad. If I kill with it, it's good. Damn it. I gotta fucking adjust. Damn it. Damn it, I missed all three shots. God, sarn it. I gotta remember how the sniper works. It's been too long since I played this video game. Ah, damn, bitch. Ah, shit, I ran out of ammo. Hi. Well, I guess I guess this guy's just driving me. I wonder where we're going. Thank goodness he picked me up. I'm Family Guy Chicken. Does he even know I'm in here? He knows I'm in here, right? Like he knows, right? He knows I'm in here, right? I, I weird Uber. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> is he going to do anything about it or is he just, we're just chilling. Don't worry, dude. Two bros, Christmas tree and the family guy chicken. Just two guys. Anyway, sorry.
Oh god, no, he left me down here. We're falling together. You gotta move, dude. Sorry, dude. My turret's right there, Buster. Where'd he go? Is he hiding? Where'd he go? I'll look really lame if this guy- Oh, he Same time again, son of a bitch! Why? We went out like kings! We went in like kings! We went out like kings! Uh <laughs> Not again, that's twice this fucking stream. Friends, till the end, <laughs> we had to die together. It was destiny. It was destiny. Clown bit. <laughs> Let me, I gotta check something real quick. I, I, I gotta check something. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, I'm just clown bit. Clown bit, I guess. I have to double check. Yeah, we're in Clown World USA. Playing duos, but then you have to fight your duos partner. Shitting. Fortnite streams are are chill, so I'm just taking a moment. I'm wait. I'm waiting for the game to start. I'm chilling. I'm cooling it. I'm chilling. I'm vibing. I'm not worried about it. Nobody's asking me anything. I don't have any thoughts in my fucking head. I'm just chilling. I'm vibing. Is a man? Oh, that's the wrong. Why do I keep clicking on the Peter? Is a man not entitled to chill with his vibe? Is a man not entitled to hang out and just vibe back a little bit and wait for the game to start? Is a man not allowed to just hit the silent bird as a word and just chill here? Relaxing style, crazy style even. I have a question. Could you win, please? Mataru, how tall are you again? Small mod. Such a small, just a little mod. Just a small, they're so small. You're so small! You and your short! You're so small! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna be dead by 60, so... I <laughs> it's fine. What do you sound like, Pops? <laughs> good show, jolly good show, indeed. Mordecai and Rigby, are you making fat loads? Uh, gee, Pop, yeah, we're trying, <laughs> we're hitting back shots in the park. Ah, uh, huge comes, jolly good, jolly good. <laughs> Imagine getting bullied by the guy who said <laughs> regular show back shots. Imagine! Good show, jolly good show indeed! Mordecai and Rigby, are you fucking sucking and ice road trucking again? Good show, jolly good show! No pop sex? I'm making big fat loads with my huge pops pinor! I'm fucking! <laughs> That's a sex noise. <laughs> hey, puppy, would you like a bite of my chicken breast? <laughs> puppy, this chicken is bussin'. <laughs> oh, 
off. <laughs> oh, the devil is inside of me. He wants out. Wherem? Wherem? Wherem are you? Who's that? The orange guy. Michelangelo? Leonardo and Michelangelo, right? That's Mike. Mikey? Mikey. Mikey? Doesn't matter. He's dead now. I killed him. Yeah, and that, honestly, that kills him in every universe chat, so I'm sorry. If the if the orange one with the nunchucks is your favorite, I'm sorry. He's gone forever. I wiped him. He doesn't exist anymore. He's gone. Uh, Why is he like this during Fortnite? Because this, this is my no-brain game. This is uh, this is the game that I play when I have no brain. I'm, I don't think about anything. I just kind of let the words fly out and see what happens. I don't worry about thinking. It's Fortnite. Who gives a shit? It's fucking Fortnite, dude. We're fucking balling. I I gotta talk to you about funny thingus. What do you want now? I gotta talk to the lady about the fu fucking thingus. Uh, funny mosaics. Uh, yada yada yada. Blah 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 blah. Friend insanity break game? Yeah, pretty much. And then every once in a while we can get some, we can do some neat things. Uh, I usually get my ass kicked, but every once in a while we can get a fat W. David Lynch plays Fortnite? Why do you want the- <laughs> Welcome back- What is it? Now watch movies on your fucking phone! <laughs> Don't watch movies on your fucking phone! <laughs> Don't watch movies on your fucking phone. Can't can't get it. I can't get it exactly the way I wanted to. I'm still a little sick. I'm picking up the wife sickness, which means I'll probably either be fine and normal tomorrow or completely out of commission tomorrow, depending on how it goes. Uh, my wife is down with the sickness, and I am going to come down with the sickness as well. Get off. Don't watch movies on your fucking telephone. I'm gonna watch so many fucking movies on my phone, David Lynch. You can't fucking stop me, dude. That's where I'm gonna watch 90% of the movies I wanna watch. Let's grab that instead. And then where uh, I need a thought gun for a shotgun. You better a sniper. I'd love a sniper. Ooh, I'd love a sniper. Ooh, I'd love a sniper rifle. Ooh, I'm just... I'm so fucking parched. I'd love a sniper rifle right about now. Ooh, ooh. What if one pops out of here? Not gonna happen. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, I'd love a sniper. Ooh, I'd love a sniper rifle. Just a smidgen of sniper rifle right about now. But I don't think that the game is gonna give it to me, so I am just gonna move along, I guess. Brennan, what's your favorite 1930s era British steam locomotive? I don't even know. Listen. Sometimes you ask me questions, right? And they're so hyper-specific that I can't do any... I can't... If you ask me a hyper-specific question, I can't... I, there's nothing I can say. All I got... That, like, that's just, that's just fridge bait. That right there is not going on the fridge. That's fridge bait. And if it's not fridge bait, then it feels like fridge bait. And I'm like, I'm not putting that shit on the fridge. I don't know anything about trains. I was never a train kid, all right? Never a train kid. I was never like, dude, trains are the coolest locomotive. They're the coolest form of movement. And I'm like, I don't... Yeah, never was a train kid. Never even really watched, like, Thomas the Train. I watched a lot of Barney when I was growing up, and I wasn't a dinosaur kid either. Right, what's your favorite Lego piece ID number? Uh, X60, uh, X59. I don't know, I made that up. Bye bye. Sorry. Uh, I'm probably gonna die. Because if there's even one little iota of a person around here, I'm fucked. But I'm gonna make it a little difficult for them. If I can fizz with my bills. Fizz out with my biz out, dude. There we go. And 
And if I can hide, just a little bit, just a little bit of hiding. So I can eat this fucking sippy. There we go. Right now, are you built like a one-by-one one Lego piece? Nope. I am not. I am, in fact, built like a normal man. I'm built like a fi I'm built like just a Lego piece. Like, fi I've showed you this, right? I'm built just like a Lego piece. Like a fucking... I'll admit it fully, too. My arms don't bend past here. This is as far as they go. They do not straighten. They are stuck at this angle. Forever. They are... They're, they're, they're stuck at a permanent angle. That is as far as they bend. They don't bend further than that. They don't straighten. They are stuck that way. I am built like a Lego man. Like any basic Lego man that you get out of any set. My arms are not articulate. They are stuck that way. I am I am like this forever. I am built wrong. I am built as a sin and a front against God. They put me out of the boy factory and they said, This boy's not done. Put him back in. And they were like, Nah, nah, nah. Let him out. Let him out half-baked. It'll be really fucking funny. It's gonna be a crazy prank. Build this guy like a sin against God. And I'd be like, ah, oh, please don't do that to me. But it, I was a baby, so it went more like goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Build this guy all the way wrong. Give him a fucked up head and a fucked up bed. Give him a fucked up brain. Give him a fucked up body. Just fuck him up all sorts of ways. And if you were turned into a Star Wars minifigure, but you had all their powers from Lego Star Wars, who would you want to be? Yaddle. I don't give a shit. You ask me, Brendan, do you, who do you want to be? Star Wars, Yaddle. Because it would be the funniest fucking thing ever. If I turned on stream and you were watching the Brendaniel stream and I was just Yaddle from Star Wars, it could have been potentially the funniest thing in all of Twitch history. Lego Star Wars. Yaddle is in there. Sorry to bu burst your bubble. Yaddle is in there. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Yaddle is a minifig you can unlock. And that is a Lego Star Wars video game. Yaddle counts. I'm posting Yaddle. No, she ain't. She actually is. Because I played it a couple of years ago. Uh, not in the classic one. Yes. But they didn't say Lego Star Wars specifically the classic one. They said Lego Star Wars. Yaddle is in Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Therefore, me, me, I'm right. You, you, you're wrong. So, uh, maybe sniff your own butthole. I don't know. Bend over a little bit. Sniff your butthole. See what's coming out of there. Hand. Maybe, uh, get owned. I'm just saying it. Write it down on a little piece of paper. Oh, what's this paper say? Oh, I'm owned. I'm owned. I'm owned. Is that a sniper rifle? Oh, boy. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Uh, can you excuse me for a second? I just got this. Can you chill? Thank you. We got a number one victory royale. Yes, for nine. We're about to get down. One kill on the board right now. Just wiped out the mail town. Shit, what the fuck? Dude? You in the fucking bush? You better not be in that fucking bush. I swear to God. I'm, I'm running away. Get fucked. Get stuffed. I'm not fucking fighting you in the fucking... You want to be a bush camper? You want to fucking hide in the bushes like a silly little guy? All right, fuck you then, buster. You hide in the bushes. You love hiding in the fucking bushes. You love ambushing your neighbor as they come home from their daily shift at the big work factory, huh? They're bending steel beams. They're making iron pipes out there. You're hiding in the bushes in your little clown outfit, waiting to fucking jump on your neighbor and go, huh, huh, huh. Neighbor has a heart attack and dies. They pin the death on you. You know what you did. Don't hide in the fucking bush. Grow up, maybe. Right, a protocol or astromech droid? I don't know the fucking difference. Is protocol droid C-3PO? Astromech is R2-D2, right? Right? I died. But which droid would I pick? Um, man, the one that makes Star Wars suck less. I, I don't know. Fucking uh, realistically, R two D two. He got that domular skull. Uh, you could probably put a couple of dents on that skull and make a little steel drum out of an astromech droid. So probably R two D two. 
he's, he's got the funniest potential to, uh, to die. R2-D2. I would kill them both, but R2-D2 has the funniest death potential, so... Ah, oh, damn it, son of a bitch. There's one. There's two. Well, I got a funny assist. I helped. Bigfoot! Oh my god, they discovered him? He's real. He's real? I'm fucked. That's fine. I can't do the R2-D2 scream. I wish I could. There are, there are times where I wish I had a, a higher voice, because I, I would love to be able to do the R2-D2 scream. I really would. Would love to be able to do the R2-D2 screen. <coughs> Can't do it, though. <coughs> nope. <sighs> Marva. <coughs> yeah, can't do it. Sorry. Not built that way. You ain't built like by a helium tank. Why? So you can fucking turn on the stream and just see me with the big helium tank just fucking... It just conked out of my fucking gourd. Yeah, I can't do it. Sorry. Not built that way. Not built for the R2-D2 scream. Ain't built that way. I just press that fucking emo button while I'm the while I'm just chilling. I'm just I'm just waiting, dude. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting, dude. I'm waiting to drop out of the battle bus, dude. I'm just waiting to drop out of the damn battle bus, dude. I'm just waiting. If I see somebody use get as a noun one more time, I'm going to lose it. Thought about it, thought about it. L Riz Zero Riz <laughs> Pushes up glasses. You have zero riz. I have a level ten gat on standby. You have zero riz. <laughs> Riz. <laughs> Rizzing spree, yeah. Riz-tacular. <laughs> Rizamanjaro. Somebody should kill me with a gun. Is that the weekend? But it's Thursday. There we go. But it's Thursday. He shouldn't be here. It's Thursday. It's not the weekend yet. Words have lost all meaning. Words always lose all meaning. I love modern slang because it's just a mess. Thank you. Who's out there? Ah, you's out there. Is that a man in May? 
Just yeah, no, you can you can chill. Oh you got oh you got, you almost got me. Oh me when I see bots. I've been following this man for years. Might as well watch his Twitch some. I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> you wanna get the mosaic? That would have been really funny. Would have been really fucking funny. If I could have got him with just the turret, would have been kind of fucking funny. But, uh, as is tradition, we die, we sleep no more. What do they got in here? What are they getting in here? Oh, if you died? It would have been really funny if you died, yeah. Yeah, fair, fine. I'm not getting another erotic fanfiction. Well, yeah, because YouTube doesn't let me do it, so... I, and also, I don't want to do it anymore. I... <laughs> YouTube doesn't like it when you do it if you're not, like, uh, d d d already super famous. Uh, if you're, like, the Game Grumps, it's fine to read pornography on YouTube. But if you're, uh, if you're me, a little old me, it's not fine. They took my power away from me. Now they got, like, AI voices, so I, I don't give a shit about reading anything anymore. Because, like, what's even the fucking point if somebody's just gonna make, like, a text-to-speech AI voice and it'll just go... The man was falling down the street. He was looking he was looking at the walls. The walls were filled with water. He was running away from the water very bigly, and it's like the movie 2012 with movie clips above it. The man had seen mirrors, and then he did dive blast, and it's like I don't fuck who the fuck who the fuck cares, dude. Movie AI summaries, dude. The man had found the wooden doll. He had put the wooden doll in his face and found out it made him green. Once he was green, he had extraordinary powers. Yeah, I mean, uh, what is it? AI voices, I think, are finally starting to get on people's nerves really bad now, and it's like... Yeah, well... Infinite content machine. I miss Sorrow TV. Sorrow TV is actually what inspired me to, uh, stop doing readings in a really roundabout way. Um, I found his channel while I was still doing 4chan stuff, and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Not in like a bad way, just in like I saw his channel and he's like doing this whole shtick with it and I'm like, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. And that was one of the moments where I was like, yeah, I don't want to be known as like, I don't want to be this guy. I don't want to be known as the reads things guy. Even if I'm known as the read things guy, I was like, I don't want to be known for that. That's why I quit when I quit too, is like. I didn't want to just do that the, the, all the time until I literally didn't do anything else. You know? That was that was kind of the point of it, is to move away from that. And that's why I moved to, like, Twitch. Is like, I like the environment here. I like streaming here a lot. I still want to make main channel stuff again, but... It got to a point where I was like, I don't want to fucking do this anymore. I want to do something else. That's the way, that's the way it happens. Instead, you're known for playing Fortnite. No, I'm not really known for anything now. I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of around. I, I, that's fine, too. I'm just uh, an existing presence, right? Some people find me, and I'm like a little eldritch creature to them, and some people find me, and I'm like a little treat for them. Some people, they see me out there in the streets, and they're like, that's him, that's the guy, and then they pick me up and put a bl bag over my head, and then, uh... Put me in a big black van and then drive me all the way down to a secret facility where they try to contain me and, uh... Well, it doesn't work that way, bitch. You can't contain me. Brendan's now known for playing slop games. I'm not really known for anything now. Like I said, I'm an unknown. Uh, there is a potentiality here. I'm a... I'm a... Unknown. All of my... Internet shit... Doesn't matter anymore. It's not relevant anymore. I am no longer relevant, which... In... One instance sucks because I like to make the money, but in another instance, it's great because I don't have to give a shit. I <laughs> I'm eating Mongo. 
I got mango slices, so I'm eating one. You probably get more attention if you streamed on YouTube. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe. I, I really don't care, though. I got what I've got. I'm happy with what I have. Everybody always wants more. I want more, but... Brendan, you can't fool me. I know you put on a mask and hood at night, become Fortnite Dan and crank 90s at Tilted Towers. Look at this fucking bozo. Doesn't even know that... You don't even know that Tilted's not even... Tilted's... It's not even in the game right now. Are you disputing my claim? I'm not disputing your claim, but, uh... Tilted's not even in the game right now. Come on. You're in the tree. Oh, is that a fucking pandu? Brennan can multi-stream if he wanted to. Yeah, true. I just don't... I don't want to. Brennan kind of flying under the radar until he does something bad. It's time to act a little evil. Never do that. Never be evil enough. Hey, being a millennial in between Zoomer and Gen Z, the slang is wild. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, when it comes to, like, uh, slang like that, you gotta just either ignore it or absorb it and then use it in cringe ways. Um, like, get yeah, damn, you have to utilize your riz efficiently and effectively so that others stop utilizing theirs. I like learning slang because I like saying it wrong. Use mewing in a sentence, Brendan. Yeah, I was uh, I was joking out in the club and uh, well, uh, I was I was joking and mogging out in the club and this uh this uh this hot this it's hot level forty eight gat. Uh, noticed me mogging, and, uh, noticed that I'd been mewing a lot lately, and my, uh, my jawline had gotten massive and huge, and, uh, well, geez louise, uh, Christ on a cracker, I, uh, I had a fucking great time. We pounded sexually multiple times over a five-minute time period. I was making huge fat cums, massive loads. <sighs> And then she left. She said I had skibbity zero Ohio riz, and I, uh, well, I died. I used my flight powers to escape. I'm so mad you said all those words. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna cry about it, yeah. You're gonna be angry online about it. You're gonna be posting on badwords.com. You're gonna tell Miriam Webster what I fucking said. Nice fucking green outfit, nerd. You are so- you are so fucking bad. You are so dead. This person might kill me. I'm way more scared of this person than I am, uh... Ah, oh, shit, they're fucking bot. Yeah, that's fine. That happens. You think the trope of old people not getting slang is just a grief? We just all join in as we get older? I mean, yeah, to a degree. I, I think as I get older, slang becomes funnier because if I say it, I, 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 I can learn the context for it and say it wrong just to make people upset. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about this new slang is that people use get as a noun when it's literally just shorthand for goddamn. Well, language evolves. So if you, if you look at it linearly, um, get, like, get, damn, is the reaction when you see an ass, shortened to get when you see an ass, and then wires get crossed, and people think get just means ass, so now, get just means ass. Etymology. Words just get all kinds of fucked up and crazy as you go on. Uh, words change. If we still all talked like fucking Shakespearean times, and we all were out there just yelling forsooth and shit I mean would we would we stagnate wouldn't we stagnate so language change it'd get weird we're getting real weird with it
Soup2Puss, you said bastardization of words and shit, but my brain immediately read it as um, the bazingification of words and shit. <laughs> now I'm going to be thinking of, you know, slang comes from etymology, the bazingification of words and shit. How comes this skin's tail moves like a real one? There's blood inside the sock monkey. I'm sorry. 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 The There's blood inside the sock monkey. I'm sorry. There's blood inside the sock monkey. I'm sorry. There's blood inside the sock monkey. There's nothing you can do about it. There's blood and meat and organs in there. I'm sorry. There's blood inside the sock monkey. I'm sorry about this, but there's blood inside of the sock monkey. They put blood in there. They put a lot of blood in there. There's a lot of blood inside of the sock monkey right now. There's flesh and organs and bones and blood. There's blood inside the sock monkey. You think it's somebody wearing a suit? It's not somebody wearing a suit. There's blood inside the sock monkey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's blood inside of this monkey. This monkey is full of blood. There's blood all up and down this entire monkey. This monkey is full of blood. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. There's there's blood inside of the sock monkey. There's blood inside this monkey. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. There's blood inside the monkey. There's nothing I can do about it. Or is that Fraser? Oh, shit. I'm gonna fucking die, ain't I? Well, I can get one of these. Come back here, you son of a bitch. I wanna show you something. If you're gonna kill me, I'm at least gonna get this. So I don't have to fucking come back here. Oh, I didn't even get ammo for the right gun. What if I leave? This guy doing crazy parkour challenges, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, damn. I, you know... Same time. I mean, you, that, that that lady was going to win. Oh, it's like I'm going to go back to the lobby. <sighs> Why do I keep getting these double deaths? Why does that happen? Why do I... Why does that keep happening to me? Why does that keep happening to me? Why? Why do I get double death? Why? Person was good. That person probably played a lot of Roblox hobbies, though. They were running around the map all crazy style. They probably fucking love Roblox hobbies. Now, I ain't gonna lie. They were probably really good at Roblox hobbies. Me, never very good at them. I tried. I tried to do better. I tried to do well. Never very good at Roblox hobbies. Always at the bottom of the leaderboard. Could never make it past the very first obstacle. Was never for me. Oh, what do I take? Uh, buh, 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 that one. What are all my mosaic quests? Oh, I gotta investigate this and catalog the second mosaic emblem. Okay. 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 I gotta complete the mosaic. Okay. I don't think I care about any more of the weeklies, really.
Destroy stairs? Really? These are all the... Oh, you gotta freaking help. You gotta save Peely so you can get the save Peely wallpaper. Ooh. You don't want the cool and epic super styles? I don't really care, no. No, not really. Uh, I, I never really care about the super styles anymore. I'm just kind of like... Meh. Like, honestly, anymore, anymore when it comes to the super styles, I'm just like level 200. I'll get the bonus rewards and then I'll stop like caring about that. And if I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. Especially this season's super styles because they're just kind of mid. Like, I don't like it when it's a texture and it's moving constantly because I'm never going to use that. I figured that out after like four seasons of doing the super styles where I'm like, listen, if the super styles aren't like a static color scheme, I'm not going to fucking use them. I don't know why they look terrible. They're never appealing. Uh, there was the one, there was the one season where they were gold. Uh, and that was something. That was like a little, that was a little, ooh, you can have a gold skin. Ooh, 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 ooh. I was like, that was fine. All right, there we go. Had to log your memoirs, sir. Write them down, sir. Go get sailing, sailor. Season OG had gold. Season OG had some gold, yeah. There was one way, way back, though, that had, like, Midas. I think it was a Midas season. I never did that one, but I know that one had, like, some cool little gold super styles, and that was neat. Remember they put John Wick in Fortnite, and we went, oh, isn't that silly? And they just kept going. Yeah, I remember. Uh, now Disney invested, what, like $90 billion in this game so that they can have the, the big Disney skins everywhere. All that tells me is I'm going to get really fucking sick and tired of Disney skins in Fortnite when I already am. Uh, they're doubling down on it. Get even more tired of Disney skins. Uh, that the Ghost Rider. Oh, he really do be ghost riding. All right, good loadout, good loadout. I want to use slime. Thank you for the slime. Uh, what did it want me to do here? Dig mosaic caches around. That's still telling me to dig caches around ruin reels. All right. I don't want me to go here. Oh, I guess I came here and I got to go back now. Imagine being killed by somebody with an Elsa skin. Oh, dude. All the Fortnite foibles. It's going to be insane. wonder what the next season is going to be like. I think it's supposed to be like gods, isn't it? Or gods themed is what everybody says. Brendan, I think you're a hater. Yeah. Oh, that's his bot. Damn it, son of a bitch. He was better than me. Neminem. All right, I'm going to take a little break. I got to go get some water. I will be back in a moment, Fortniters.
All right. I got a little caffeinated water. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Fuck, dude. I'm trying to find... Dude, every day I play Fortnite, I gotta find the skin that, like, is the vibe. And I don't know the vibe. Maybe it's the fucking weird duck. Maybe that's the vibe. Ugh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, God damn it, it spurred all over. <laughs> Got all over my shirt. I'm gonna. <laughs> it's sprayed. It's sprayed all over my shirt. <laughs> What is that shirt? It's making money. One sec. Let me get it. Let me get it in frame. <laughs> so I, it's because I put a little, I put a little, I put a little drink mix in there, and I didn't think it was just gonna spurt out all over my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, let's do let's do camera for this game. Let's see how it goes. I want to keep looking back at my face to make sure I'm like in frame properly. Like, you know, they say the camera adds ten pounds. <sighs> we'll do camera for this game. Oh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I gotta do more mosaic shit. Okay, Buster. I love mosaic pieces. Uh, can't wait to get that freaking wallpaper. It's gonna be awesome. You get a little Fortnite cam as a treat. Oh, ba 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 can't wait for it. Just can't wait for more mosaic pieces. God, I love grabbing mosaic pieces. God, I love dying. God, I love, God, I love dying. God, I love dying to the enemy. God, I love killing the enemy. I'm the baby. Gotta love me. All right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, mosaic piece, gimme. The baby, you gotta love me. Don't wink at me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Brennan, don't wake at the camera. That's weird. Well, what if I... Oh, shit. Got him. Who is this guy? Fucking... Who the fuck does this guy think he was? I am. Brennan may not be the best Fortnite gamer, but he is the most handsome Fortnite gamer. Thanks. Do it again. That's the fourth time this fucking stream. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't freeze the camera. I was just sitting here like that. I was looking at the OBS monitor to play the game. I... <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> today's kind of a hell day. I, <laughs> good shit. Hi, Beals. Yeah, you went up. Here. 
girl. Hi, creature. Hi. Oh, you're gonna fall, dumbass. You gotta be careful. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Gain health, sure. Sure, I'll gain a little health. Sure, I'll gain a little wealth. Sure, I'll gain a little health. I'll gain a little wealth. Hell yeah, I just got fired. Now I have more time to watch Brendaniel 2 and the Brendaniel streams. What an insane thing to... Hell yeah, I just got fired! That means I can watch all the Brendaniel content! I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I am so sorry that you lost your job. Was it my fault? Can you blame me? Can you write me down as a contact for the unemployment? My bad. It's my fault you got fired. I'm sorry. You had to be watching the streams at work. I'm not gonna lie. I do say some fucked up things. Is my bus all fucked up? Is my internet dead? Am I still here, chat? Nope, that was weird. Okay. I'm still here. It's not AI we have to worry about in the job market. It's Brendan. Gotta get you fired. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, listen, most people are like, how? How did you get me fired, Brennan? I'm like, I don't know. You just you watch my content. You get bad luck. So. Oh. Oh. Brendan, you're not here. Wake up. What? <laughs> what? What did you say? What? Huh? What did you say? Huh? Where? Hey, where'd you hide? Why? Why? Huh? Why? Who? Why? That's my response to that. That bit's the. Huh? Why? Who? Why? He? Huh? Where? We see? Huh? We hear? Why? Basically, I had a work from home tech job and they wanted me to drive into the office every day as a new policy and the office is two hours away. Dude, uh, businesses are really trying to get people to stop work. Businesses are really trying to be like, listen, we're paying for the office space. Please, please come into work. Please, you got to come into the office, please. No, work from home is over. It's over. It's over. We're going back to how it was. And it's like, dude, the box got open. I'm, so I'm sorry, Buster. The, bo the Pandora's box got fucking open, dude. I'm sorry. Ah, shit, you got me. That's fair. <laughs> Duck's not doing it for me. Uh, ba ba bo ba 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 be ba 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 Whomst. I'm gonna try to tell me meowsles. It wasn't even like they needed an in-house tech. Everything could be done remotely. Well, yeah, but you, they pay the rent on the office. So you got to come into work. Like, do you not get this? They pay the rent on the office space. You have to come into work. That's it. <laughs> Doesn't matter what your job is. They pay rent on the office space. If they let you work from home, other people could work from home. You got to come into work. How are you going to teach an, a 75-year-old man how to use an iPad from far away? you got to come into work without reimbursement for your mileage. Duh. Can they, not, can they just not have a large office space if they need one? They paid for a 200-year lease. They got a 200-year lease. you got to come into work. They paid... For a 200 year lease, you gotta come into work. What are they gonna do? Just cancel the 200 year lease? No! You gotta come into work. Mr. Beast! <laughs> I like fucking around with the camera too much. You don't understand. Well, we can't just cancel the lease. We're gonna have to pay a cancellation fee on the lease. Uh, so, the better option is just to make people miserable and make them. 
commute two to eight hours to work. It'll be it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. You'll enjoy the drive. Hey, you know, if you got a two-hour commute, it's not such a big deal. I mean, hey, uh, just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and maybe uh, listen to a podcast or two. You millennials and Gen Z are super into podcasts, right? I mean, hey, if you got a three to eighteen-hour drive to work, just put on a podcast. I mean, come into work. Come on, I dare you. Fucking get into work right now. We pay for the office space. So you got to come into work. Oh, you just listen to a couple podcasts, two to eight to fifteen to two hundred hour podcasts. You just play a couple of true crimes podcasts on your way to work. They actually bought two new offices too, and I helped them move into those offices, and they decided to keep the old offices anyway. So with all the new real estate, they needed to fill it. You can't work from home. You're gonna have to commute. And uh, why don't you listen to a couple of podcasts? Uh, have a couple of podcasts on play. Just uh, listen to a little bit of music. Why don't you play some catchy tunes? Uh, play some bossa nova jazz on your drive to work. It'll be awesome. But uh, you can snap your fingers out the window. You can sing along to it. Think about it. Think about all the amazing things you could do on your drive to work. You could uh, think about how much you hate your job. Think about how much you hate your life. Maybe snap your fingers to some bossa nova jazz. Listen to a podcast or two. Maybe listen to a little podcast or two. Say Bloody Mary into your rear view window, hoping that you actually summon a real live ghost from the Victorian era, and then she kills you. Think about all the things you can do in your commute to work, all the, all the drive to work. You know, you got the office space. We need to use it. Come on. Just let your camera bounce around like a DVD logo. I don't even know how to do that. In OBS, I have no idea how to use that. You know, actually, uh, you know, yeah, we gotta, uh, you know, it's a tech job, so you, uh, you gotta come into the office. And don't worry, though, we're gonna do fun things in the office, like, uh, corporate pizza parties, and corporate game night. Imagine, um, going to work, right? Like, right? Like, imagine going to work, right? Now, get this, get this, we're gonna double it up a little bit, we're gonna come up with something amazing. Think about this, think about this. What if you went into work, and then you had to stay later at work, unpaid, but mandatorily, for an office fun party? Think about, think about the office fun. Think about the office fun we could have. Think about it. You could come into work. Uh, take your two-hour drive to work, two-hour drive back home. You could stay after your eight to ten-hour shift for two to five hours for the office party that's mandatory. That's why we have the office. Isn't it amazing? Isn't that great? You can get a little slice of pizza and a little bit of Walmart cheesed cake. Whoa. Think about it, huh? Think about the amazing deals you'll get. You can do so much shopping. I don't understand true crime podcasts. I don't know. People are weird. I don't really get them either, but uh, people like mysteries. I think it's just part of the mystery, but it's like a real life mystery. You excited to make millions from trading on the Wendy's burger market, dude? Honestly, if I was Wendy's, I think it would be really funny if they just, uh, instead of surge pricing, which we've talked about that a bunch this week, um, instead of, instead of their like totally not surge pricing, surge pricing scheme, uh, they just treat it like the, the stock market. It's just like they got the burger DAC instead of NASDAQ. Burgers up. Bye, 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 bye. No, no, sell, 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 sell. What if you? What if Wendy's instituted that you could bring your own burger in and sell it to them? They have a burger judge at every Wendy's, right? Imagine having a burger judge at every Wendy's, and the burger judge judges your burger, and they pay you depending on how good the burger is that you make in Wendy's credits. And then you can utilize those Wendy credits to buy Wendy food. But the Wendy food also fluctuates in prices. Maybe think you learn about it. Oh, that Thanos? You're a real guy. I'm dead. Yeah, that was Thanos. Think about the Burger Bank. Yeah, the Wendy's Burger Bank. The Bank of Burger. Why did I put my mouth on the... Bread and Coal Company's already did that. Fifteen tons. What do you get? Another day older and a million dead. But if people don't call me a lag at all, I don't know the company. Yeah, that's why a lot of tech companies are trying to, like Google and Facebook and shit, are trying to do, like, <laughs> employee housing. Because, uh, <laughs> use your Google Bucks to buy Google Pucks. What are the Google Pucks? They're food for you in pellet form. Why does your bottle have the Shadow of the Hedgehog theme? Because it's a free one my wife got from work.
Your wife works for Shadow the Hedgehog? Yeah. I am. I don't know. I don't know how the song goes. Wish I worked for Shadow the Hog. I think there was, um, what is it? Pain Hole had a. Uh, I think, do I still have that somewhere? Oh, yeah, I do have that somewhere. Pain, we were doing, uh, I mean, before Pain Hole, like, died. I mean, it's on, like, permanent hiatus. It's not, I don't want to say it's dead. But we had, uh, thumbnail art done for Shadow the Hedgehog, actually. So there's Art of Me as Eggman. Where is it? There it is. But then we kind of, like, got super sidetracked. We played, like, three, I think we recorded, like, three episodes of it, and then just neither of us had any time for it. So, maybe it'll pop up eventually, but... The loss of face cam has immensely improved the stream, yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers don't want to see my face. Uh, I'm not here, Brendan. Was it Shadow also a partner game? No, Shadow was never a partner game. That was Sonic 06. Sonic 06 was a partner game. Doki Doki Literature Club is a partner game. I'm not promising anything but Sonic 06. We may be getting some dice. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't I don't control anything on the business side of PSD. You can't ask me any questions. I keep telling you that. I don't know. I don't know literally anything. I, I listen. Everything I know about PSD comes from I get into the recording studio or I get not record. I get into the fucking voice call. I record whatever I got to record and then I leave. <laughs> I don't handle anything on that side. I don't make any money off PSD. That's all Billy's thing. I just help. Right, what was PST's tax return last season? I don't know. I don't make any money off of PST. It's the, the, the podcast isn't my job. It's just something I do to, to help my friend Billy and to be around my other friends. I just like chilling. Ah, shit. Brendan, show us your tax documents. Nah. No. Let us do your taxes. No. No, I don't think a PST is work. Like, the Perilous is just, uh, it's just DMing, and I can just do that for fun. And, like, the the podcast makes so little money, uh, even now, that, like, that's just Billy's job. So I, I just like being a part of it. I don't mind. I just, I always tell people, I'm like, if you see anything on the Twitter or any, I don't control any of that. I don't control any of the shows. I'm just, I'm just the DM for Perilous, and I, I'm just, I'm just a little Brendan. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. I don't know anything. I put my hands up and I'm like, please, please, I, I don't have anything. Take my wallet, I guess. I don't know. Any cool DM tips? No. Because then I'm going to talk about tabletop and then chat's going to kill me, so I'm... <laughs> Uh, when it comes to DMing, I don't give a shit. To the Dark's gonna freak out, but I don't care. Um, when it comes to DMing, uh, easiest way to get into it is just do it. That's it. Um, uh, fucking do it, fail, do whatever. Uh, I always tell people don't get super caught up in world building to the point where you're, you are, your campaign is so rigid that there's no amount of flexibility. DMing isn't a video game, either. Like, uh, when it comes to being a dungeon master, sure you can DM it like it's a video game, but... I don't think that tabletop is inherently structured to be like a video game, because video games are naturally rigid. 
um, in the way they work. So I, I really like being flexible, but everybody has different DM styles. Mine is mostly improv based. Um, so I just write a little outline of what might happen or what I kind of want to do or what I want to build. And then I let the players explore that and then build off of there. So I, I don't like doing quests or ta like I, I really fucking hate uh, part of the gamification of tabletop, which is the um, like, oh, uh, well, you could try to do that quest, but you're not high enough level to. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? This is tabletop. I've heard of DMs doing that where it's like, oh, yeah, you guys can't go into that zone that's too high level. And it's like, why even have the fucking zone available? Don't even show it to them. You don't got to railroad him. Just put him in his own, put him in a little sandbox playground and let him fuck around. Uh, but also, some people like gamification of tabletop, so I mean, hey, kudos to them. Like whatever you want to like. I am, uh, I'm very much somebody who is like, hey, I, I, I like the games that I DM, uh, because I like doing things in a very specific way. Uh, and I don't really like combat. I just kind of like, uh, 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 building some NPCs, building part of the world, and letting the players fuck around in it until I can figure out shit. That's why I don't like building, uh, world maps a lot of the time. It's because I feel like, uh, when you build a world map, uh, you might make things too open. Um, so I feel like a world map is really only necessary for when you start getting into the campaign later. Uh, because uh, you'll have players be like, I want to go there. I want to go. Can we go there? It's like, do you want to travel for 9 to 15 weeks? Try to hire a carriage? Because uh, that's going to be the whole rest of this encounter so I can build that world space. That's, uh, they, that, that just be how it be. I don't know. There's not really any, like, I don't, I don't think there's any necessary tips or tricks except for respect your players, respect their time, and try to figure out how each player plays, how their dynamic in the group is, and uh, try to give everybody at least one thing to do per session. Um, don't let anybody hog the table. Uh, unless it's like, I, I mean, if it's a character lore quest, I guess maybe, but... Try not to let anybody hog the table, uh, and then try to make sure that everybody gets a, gets a chance to work at the table as well. Because uh, when you have... Uh, there's always somebody who takes like a leader-type role a lot of the time in, in tabletop, any tabletop game. Um, and that's fine, I think. But also, uh, I, I think a good game master, a good DM, uh, make sure that everybody has a chance to speak and do something. Even if it's a little something... Uh, make sure that everybody is 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 given proper time to do stuff. Don't let anybody hog. Do you recommend any particular books to start if they've never DM before? Nope. I personally recommend the raw dog strategy, which is get in there, do it, fucking do it. it your first sessions, your first ten to twenty sessions are gonna be fucking awful. Hardest part of doing it is just fucking do it, dude. Like, you can worry and hem and haw and get anxious and sit there and fucking try to, like, perfect your first session. Everybody's first session is cringe. Everybody's first session is fucking awkward. The hardest thing to do is just sit down, get the people together, and fucking do it. And take control of it, too. Be like, we are sitting down and we are fucking doing it. I mean, yeah, you should read the rule book, yeah. I mean, you should skim the rule book. You don't have to read it. Skim the rule book. But no, honestly, like, it, it, skim the rule book, get in there and fucking do it. Figure something out. Do a little gobloid adventure. Hardest, hardest thing for me for tabletop is balancing common encounters. Uh, which is why I am a DM who doesn't show numbers, because I'll just fudge it. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't offer, I don't offer incredibly, incredible gameplay mechanics in my campaigns. I don't offer, I, I, I don't care about the, the, the gamification aspect. I say this all the time, is I care about the experience. I care about, I care about in tabletop video games, I care about having fun and building a narrative. And the players are there to help build the narrative. Uh, it, it's collaborative storytelling. I say this all the fucking time. Collaborative storytelling is is my favorite part of tabletop because I, when I write uh, all my shit, I don't have a main villain picked out uh, or like a BBEG uh, almost ever. 
And if at all, it'll be probably about five to ten sessions in. Uh, my first five sessions, I like to do a lot of, like, um, player psychology. I'm way too into the idea of player psychology, which is figuring out what characters are going to do what so I can build encounters around what I think they're going to fucking do. And then D&D &D becomes incredibly funny because then it just becomes, will their psyche be activated and will they fall for this obvious bait? Or will they think that it's obvious bait? and then get owned. Like, I love giving rewards to characters who are unlikely to use them, and then placing scenarios <laughs> in front of those characters where using them would be the easy solution. And then you get to hear the gears grind around in their head while they try to figure out what to do, except using the cool thing they just got that's one use. You prefer rules light roleplay emphasizing systems? Then no, I like 5e, it's fucking easy. I know there's a lot of, uh, 5e, 5e. Wizards of the Coast sucks. I don't care. Uh, the system's easy and I understand it. I know there's a lot to be said about Wizards of the Coast. There's a lot to be said about the, the way they handle their business, the way they hire the Pinkertons. Um, the Indy 5e is super fucking easy. Pathfinder's great, but it's so... Uh, it's, it's, it's 3.5 D&D complex, and I'm like, I don't care about that. I want a system where it's, you got your character sheet, you got your fucking character, you got your funny abilities. Uh, I don't want more, like, extraneous work. I feel like there's way easier systems, though. Yeah, no, that's why 5e is, like, the perfect middle ground for me. It's just complex enough. And I know it. And I don't want to learn a whole new system. What are some good TTRPGs you recommend? None of them. I play 5e. That's it. I don't want to learn a new system. I fucking don't. <laughs> uh, GURPS. Play GURPS, I guess. GURPS. Uh, spend 18 hours making characters with your friends in GURPS and then play one half of a session before everybody says, fuck, I gotta rebuild my character. I gotta... My, uh, this one's fuck. I fucked this, uh, I fucked this one up. No, nah, there are a ton of different... You can do Vampire, you can do Werewolf, you can do any of the World of Darkness RPGs. You can do Lancer. You can do Pathfinder, Starfinder. Uh, Mod Modifius Entertainment has a Fallout uh, 2D20 system. D20 Modern's a really interesting system because it's just 3.5e built for uh, cool guns. Um, you can do Shadowrun. You can do Cyberpunk. You can do fucking... Um, what's another one I played? Uh, you can do Mutants and Masterminds. I mean, I know a lot about... Other systems is the thing. You do fucking, what is it, the Seven Rings? You can do, you can do a ton. There's a ton of TTRPGs out there. Um, that you could play and experience. I, I just like 5e because it's fucking, I know it, and I can just make up shit and just go. Uh, a whole new system that I don't have a lot of experience on requires a lot of, like, figuring out the intricacies of the system, and I don't have, um, I don't have a thinkular brain. I have a poopular brain. I like to get in there, and I like, I like to do minimal prep, and I like to get in there and fucking go. And I don't like, um, DMing RPGs that are mainly encounters, or encounter-based. I hate DMing those. I like playing them. If I'm playing them, I just hate... Uh, like, Lancer. Lan my, uh, Julia in the chat is the GM for our Lancer game, and she does an excellent fucking job. Um, but I'm bad at playing Lancer, too, because I don't... There's role-playing, but there's not like... It's it's like a lot of, like, I don't know. You go in, and you gotta, like, do your mech mission. Okay, I did my mech mission. Uh, I can do my, like, downtime activity, and if I don't know what I want to do, I'm like, ah, uh, I have no idea. I'll just, I'll just chill until I can fire with my cool flamethrower. And I like playing Lancer a lot. It's just not like the... It's not something I'd ever GM. Oh god, I'm fucking... I'm gonna get owned. Sniper battles. Ah, yeah. That was gonna happen.
Brandon, would you ever hire the Pinkertons on your fans? No! I never do that. That's fucked up. I could tell you about indie TTRPGs that'll put your hair on your chest. Ah, with like indie indie TTRPGs where it's like, um, pick your race. The floop de dupes, the the spinamarinks, the the schlambles, the 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 green crusters. And then you're looking like the fucking oh, it's a it's a 19d20 system. Uh, you have to roll Pandora's box and open it up and hope for the fucking best, idiot. And it's like I, I don't, I don't know what the what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, sorry, Brendan. You're, we're playing this indie TTRPG. We we rolled dog green, uh, which means I have to pick up the very real gun and shoot you in the kneecap. I'm like, what do you mean we rolled dog green? Brendan, we rolled dog green, Brendan. You know what that means, right? I gotta get shot in the kneecap. You gotta get shot in the kneecap, dude. You rolled the dog green. Yeah. Listen, man. I don't give a fuck how cool your indie RPG or indie TTRPG is. I will still just homebrew everything. I don't give a shit how cool your indie TTRPG is. I will still homebrew everything. <laughs> I will use the barest amount of the shit in your game, and then I will just homebrew everything on top of it. I do not care. That's how fucked up I am. See, if I ever ran a game of Lancer or DM'd Lancer, you would barely be in your mechs. Like, what are we going to get in our cool mech, Brendan? Oh, sorry, dude. Um, This guy's trying to evade taxes in Cyber City right now, and you got to go and fucking hunt him down. In the mechs? Nah. Boots on the ground. Oh. When do we get to use the mechs, Brendan? We've, we've had 18 sessions. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Here, uh, you find a planet, and there are a couple guys there, and they're like, er, kill me. And you're like, oh, you gotta kill him. <laughs> like, oh, okay. We, we just helped a man, um, file his taxes, dude. I, what do we... <laughs> what about a homebrew based on other media? Never. I go bigger, I, I, I go, I, I... I need my world to be mine. Ah, ah, I'm dying. I need me. Ah. Ah, I got stuck on the got stuck on the thing and I got confused in my old age. Been thinking about squart lately. This is a good pivot away from the tabletop talk. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh I've been thinking about squart lately. Interesting. Interesting, huh? Tell me more. Squart, huh? Tell me more. Yeah, I hate Baldur's Gate. I <laughs> I say this because I don't hate Baldur's Gate, um, but I hate using somebody else's lore. I do. I When I work on a tabletop game, I'm like, I want everything to be in a way where I can do whatever I want without there being like too much pre-established context or lore. That way I can just make shit up and not have to worry about like reading through five pages of some minor character's backstory because somebody built a character based around that character and like I I'm like nah no thank you nah I'm fuming I'm fuming I'm fuming I'm fuming I'm 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 vibing on every kind of fume What do you think of Divinity Original Sin 2? Uh, the, uh, the same as any any video game that is like a top-down camera video game and turn-based. Um, wish I wasn't poured. 
I really, it's same with Baldur's Gate. It's like, I got to a point where I'm like, I got everything I wanted out of this. Well, you're only in Act 2. You got to get to Act 3. And I'm like, I'm bored. I, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Preposter with hands for the Tier 1 sub. Yeah. Do I own VR? Yeah, I do. I just never use it. It's locked up somewhere. What am I going to play? Like, Beat Saber? I do. I uh. It's not even like a real boredom. It's like a, I get to a point where I'll set it down. Any, any, um, any turn-based RPG, I have this bad problem where I'll set it down for like a week. And then if I get back on, I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know what I was doing. Oh, I don't, um, I have no idea what I was doing. Should I just make a new character? I'll just make a new character. And I'll make a new character and I'll do the same thing. I'll drop it. You know, after like a week of play, pick it up like a week later. Oh, um, what am I doing? Oh, fuck. Well, better make a new character. I might as well. Ooh, might as well just, I'll just make a new character. I guess, guess I just got to make a new character. The main thing with games like that is co-op with friends. I would never understand how to play ball. I played Baldur's Gate 3 with Billy once. Um, and I was like, I never want to do this again. <laughs> Uh, I also tried, I think Divinity Original Sin, I tried to play it with friends, and I was like, I, I don't want to do this. I was like, nah. Can you make a funny noise right now, Brendan? Yeah, give me a second. You want a funny noise? I'll give you a funny noise. Are you ready for the funny noise? Funny noise being dispensed in three, two, one. Uh, oh, what am I, what am I, am I alive still? <laughs> oh, man. I'm, yeah, this, see, I, this, I'm, I'm like so done with this season of Fort. I am like, I am... I am empty of this season of Ford. It is, it is just not uh, something about the season, man. Just to, there's just something about this fucking season. I'm, I'm thankful that it's ending soon. Something about this season, man. Really got to a point where I was just like, yeah, I don't think I care anymore. But I also want to play Fort. So it's like a weird man. I want to play Fort. But God, this season is, is doo-doo at the end of it. I miss when, like, at the end of a season, they would just unvault a fuck ton of random weapons just to see what would happen for the last, like, week or two. I really wish that it happened. Just unvault a bunch of random shit. I think it happened, what, with the OG season? The OG season was so good. I love how shit just kept getting randomly unvaulted. Like, fuck it, throw that in there. Fuck it, throw that in there. Fuck it, throw that in there. What did the seasons change in this? But Brennan had Peter Griffin. Brennan, when is the milk stream? Right now. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Number one worst thing I can do on stream. <laughs> that. <laughs> mm. Love the season sniper, but dealing with the auto shotgun kind of soiled it. Yeah, well, dealing with the auto shotgun and then fucking, like, I didn't play this for, like, two weeks, and now I can't remember how the fucking sniper, like, drop works, and then on top of that, like, I... 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 I, I should have played Fortnite, like, yesterday to prep for today, because I am so, like, brain dead about it now. I am forded and boarded out. I miss when Bryn Daniel unvaulted good content. <laughs> Joke's on you, Busta. 
Renaniel's never been good. Joke's on you, Buster. Renaniel's always been cringe. What do you mean, Renaniel isn't funny? Never has been. What are your view on downfall YouTubers? I uh, who gives a shit? I fuck the downfall of Krusty Krab. Like I don't fucking. Am I going to watch a depressing hour and a half long video about? Yeah, they were sad and then they stopped making thing. Or they were fucking. They literally committed a crime. Here's an hour and a half of, of me winding up to them literally just committing a crime. Damn, bitch, you live like this? Downfall of Penis Bob. He smoked crack, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sad, racist, pedophile, take your pick. Right then, if a musky rich guy says you have to make a Game Grump type show with a super ape, would you? One, what the f- Where's the button? <laughs> Gee, I don't know, Trap Gee, member, that's kind of a messed up question. Up question right there. Um, Gee, I don't know, um, I don't know. I'm going to get better at sniping. I swear to God, I'm going to get better at sniping. I swear to God, I'm going to snipe you. Stand still. I got to remember how to use this. There we go. Thank you. That was a good person to test sniping out on. They had a sniper in their name. What the fuck? Or what was that? <laughs> Gee, I don't know, trap member. That's kind of a messed up question. Gee, trap member, there. that's kind um, of a messed up know. question. Yes, there. Gee, um, I don't know. Gee, I don't know, trap member. That's kind of a messed up question. Gee, I don't know. know. Button needs to be louder. I should turn it up a little bit. Can I turn it up? One second. Where is that ad in my audio mixer? In the sampler? Oh no, I can't turn the gain up on there. How the fuck do you turn that up? Where is that ad? That's where I always get confused in my, uh... Mixer... I swear to God there was a setting for it. I always get old man confused whenever I'm, I'm in my mixer. Uh, it's not an effects. It's not a configuration either. No, I think that's as loud as it gets. I don't know why it's so much quieter. The voices get louder every day. No, they don't. Grow up, Busta. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Rodney. Damn, bitch. You live like this? Alright. Does sensitivity need to go up or does it need to go down? Maybe down. Yeah, sensitivity needed to go down. Okay, got it. Sorry, trying to like hone in on uh, why I'm shooting so bad again. Whenever I don't play, like I said, whenever I don't, I need to like a, I need to fucking just set a Fortnite setting on my fucking mouse so I remember. Otherwise, I forget. I forget how to shoot the gun. Guys, can you believe it? I forgot. Gotcha, sorry. I forgot. Thank you for the sniper bullets. You don't have a better sniper, but you do have this dog shit. Oh, give me that. Give me the doo-doo. <laughs> I should say that. <laughs> when I'm reaching my hand under your stall door in the restroom. Hand over the doo-doo and nobody gets hurt, dude. <laughs> what? I want your log. Hand it over. What? I, I'm the log pog boy. Hand over your shit. Now. <laughs> I may be the worst content creator on the internet, but at least, um, no, that's it. <laughs> the log pog. Brendan, I will not shit in your hand. I'm not saying you need to shit in my hand. I'm saying hand over the log now. What will you do? The poop scooper, the log pog. 
the stool collector. <laughs> Give me the doo doo, and nobody gets. <laughs> oh man, I'm like a, I'm like a, you know, actually, you know, and really, I was thinking of a, a good description for uh, my type of humor, and it's like, what if a four year old just input a bunch of random shit into Chat GPT and it spit it out? <laughs> He's taken my shit! He's taken my shit! Hand over your collectible log. I'm sealing it and I'm putting it on the wall. Imagine going to, like, somebody's grandparents' house, right? And in the, the grandpa's study, you're not allowed to go in. So you and your buddy, you sneak into his grandpa's study. And on the on the walls, it's just... It's just poops, but they're in, like, the, uh, the collectible wooden, uh... You know, like, the wooden mounts? Or, like, mounted animal heads? And it's just big, fat shits your grandpa's taken. And there's mounted on the wall with dates underneath them and the plaque. Damn, bitch, you miss every shot? You yeah. He's so real for this, he's so real for this. Ah, uh, he ran away. So not real for this. So not real for this. So risky reels for this. What? Aren't I supposed to, like, emote here? Or something? Don't they want me to emote here? At risky reels? Oh. Gotcha, sorry. Can I have this? Thank you. A little treat for me. That's like a little treat for me. Oh, you're not real. There we go. Bye-bye, bozo. Sometimes they aren't real. Sometimes they are real. You never know. When somebody's randomly hitting at a wall, what if they were just losing it? What if they were just a normal guy losing it in their office? They were fucking freaking out. Brennan, have you been saying, damn bitch, you live like this in recent streams? No, I've just... I've just been saying that. Brennan, have you consider what Halloween costume will be this year? Can I suggest Skibbity Toilet? No way. What? Fucking No! I don't dress up for Halloween, Peter Griffin. Um, I guess that's my costume now. I just said it, so it has to be real. Shit! Sorry, Peter. You wanna face me in Mortal Kombat, Peter? Fight me, Peter. Sorry, Peter. Sorry, Peter. I don't give credit. Damn, bitch, you live like this? Oh, sorry. Oh, my God, this Peter. This poor Peter. He had so many of the... Oh, my God, this poor Peter had wished I engaged close range. Oh, this poor fucking... This poor Peter. Thank you, Peter, for the sniper rifle. Oh, no, it's a shit one. Never mind. I actually like the sniper scope more. I don't want the hollow scope. There we are, baby. You're contractually obligated to show up on stream in a Peter Griffin outfit to on stream in Halloween. Oh, no. I never I never signed no contract in blood. I ain't I never signed nothing, babe. Come on. Come here. Let me give you a little kiss. No. No, fuck. Peter dies tonight. Peter dines tonight. Ah, I miss every shot. You miss every shot you don't take. So I might as well take every shot that I can take. They're not real. Like three people that aren't real and I can't hit a single one of them. There we go. Jeez. 
There we go. Four people that aren't real. Five people that might not be real. What the fuck, dude? Gotcha. Gotcha. I can't fucking hit. Damn. Oh, that's not an assault rifle. What did I do? I wish I could hit a shot. This is the silliest sniper in the world. They both died at the same time. More of these! Why? There we go. There's a little hit. Why are there so many why are there so many people here? I'm dead. I'm dead. I, I, too many too many too many snipers. Oh my god, there's actually two... There's two teams of... See, this is the problem with this season. This is... It's all the frenzy auto... That guy doesn't even know there's another guy by that tree that's going to snipe him. Watch. 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 It's going to happen. It's going to happen. They don't even know. He doesn't even know. He has no fucking idea. He doesn't even know. It's fine. He's running away. He might know. Maybe he knows. He might know. Ooh. Everybody was there, too. Like, everybody was... I was just like, why are there... I wasn't looking at any of the... I wasn't looking at any of the numbers for, uh... Like, where we were. I was like, everybody was there. Everybody in the game was there. Guy has no idea. Brennan just hate spectating? No, I just wanted to see if he would die. That was fine. It was fine if I died. I'm not gonna cry over a little spilt Fortnite. Like... Am I really going to cry over a little spilt Fortnite, huh? Do I look like the... Do I look like the type of person to cry over Fortnite to you? Kinda? Yeah, fair. Honestly. press the emo button. I don't know what you, why this angle. I just, I press the emo button so I can look at my phone. I don't know what you're talking about. I press the emo button so I can look at my phone. I don't, I don't know why you're, you're like freaking out about it. You can't look at a little bit of ass. I was looking at my phone. I was chilling. I was taking a moment to chill. I wanted to look at my phone. What the fuck, dude? Brendan, were you jonkling your Jimmy? No, I wasn't. I wasn't, dude. That wasn't happening, Busta. No, dude. I was I was checking my fucking celled phone, Busta. Calm down, bitch. Calm down. Where am I? Hi. I took you with me. Or I didn't. Did you get out of that? They did not get out of that. I took them with me. I'm <laughs> you were jonkling your Jimmy, weren't you, Brendan? No, I wasn't. I was chilling. I was cooling. Brendan, you should be funny.
Keys. It'll take more than that to impress me. Whoa! Sorry, I woke up at 3 a.m. today, so I've just been tired all day anyway. I'm just, I, 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 listen, I flipped the coin on whether or not I play Fortnite today, so I'm not, I'm not fully committed to this. I, I don't know why I'm still awake. I should have napped earlier. Oh, well, Fortnite. Everyone is edging over Penny. What is happening? I just... This is like one of the reasons I use the Penny skins because then chat just starts going humana 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 bazawi and I'm like, yeah, okay. Then I just like to look at people in chat go humana 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 bazawi because I think it's funny. <laughs> chat dislodging the minefield from their brain like a uh, Fortnite skin was... <laughs> like speaking in fucking tongues, drooling on the floor. back here. Why are people so crazy about parkour? Damn it, son of a bitch. Fortnite, then night-night? No, I'm, I'm, I, the wife's gonna get home. We're gonna go for a walk, and then night-night. I'm just, I'm dead tired today. I've been trying to fix my sleep schedule, and it, like, didn't work. Uh, and so I got, like, four hours of sleep, and then I've just been up since then. Uh, I was editing a bunch earlier, and trying to, like, fucking, uh, get shit prepped for other things and then I just <laughs> I flipped a coin the coin said Fortnite I shouldn't have listened to the coin this is what I get for listening to the coin I should never listen to the coin never listen anytime a coin flip for like a stream never listen to the coin might be the new diet playing havoc on your energy levels no because I, I it's weird because I have more energy with the, with the new diet I'm not going to lie because it's a lot more protein heavy. And so usually I have more energy. Like, if I was at this tiredness level without the diet, I would just be asleep right now. But no, the diet's been good. Brendan, your chi is weak today. Yeah, going to have a level 8 gooning session in the goon caves later. Going to be pulling out the big Shakashura Showdown tent. Blowing down some crazy tunes in that son of a bitch. Meet me in the yurt, bitch. Find me in the yurt. Meet me in the yurt. Hit the, uh, hit the accordion bong. See what happens. Meet me in the yurt. See what's up with the accordion bong. I'm going to be hitting that thing crazy style. Really need to line your thetans, Brendan. God, somebody should really check my fucking feet levels. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Those things gotta be off the chart. I bet my ass could fit so many alien souls. I'm thinking about it. I think I could fit a ton of alien souls in this fucking body. I think I think you could fill this son of a bitch all the way up to brim. You know, like in uh, Mortal Kombat, where like uh, Shao, not Shao Kahn, uh, not Hus Hao or Su Hao. Uh, but the wizard guy, Shang Tsung. You know how Shang Tsung has the big pot of souls? You can feel so many fucking... I'm like a big pot of souls, babe. You can feel so many fucking souls inside of me. So many alien souls. I'm a receptacle. Like, I'm an empty vessel. You can just fill me up, dude. Love a big pizza. I keep saying it, but I fucking love a big pizza right now. I'd kill somebody for one. 
You look like just enough XP. Performing the evil containment wave to seal Brent Daniel in a pot of instant ramen? You can try. I'll, I'll get out. Inevitably, the seal will weaken. I'll escape. I'm not worried about this. Brendan, the empty bowl streamer. Yeah, well, it's better than being the empty bowel streamer because I don't want to shit on cam. I got to emote for five seconds here. This guy's going to burst. There are going to be so many cults that try to abduct me. It's going to be crazy, dude. Empty ball streamer? No? Why would you say such a fucking thing? What the hell, dude? If the monkey want the nanners, I'll give them the nanners. Brendan, the porcelain throne streamer. God, do you know how, be, how it'd be so fucking cool if you had a gamer chair that was modeled after a toilet? Imagine how fucking epic that would be. You could shit where you sit, and if they could find a way to make it comfy indefinitely, you'd never have to leave your gamer chair. Think about the potential here. Imagine the hemorrhoids. Got him bad. There we go. Smell wonk? Yeah, same, honestly. Not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. They're putting me in bot games now. I've I've lost badly enough to where they're like, okay, put him back into bot games. Oh, one of these days I'll unlock my true gamer potential. And crank 90 so fucking hard they start calling them 180s because it's double now. Reminds me of the lol poop player. Oh. Anytime anybody says anything about like poop player or poop streamer, I immediately think of that one guy who shaved his balls live while playing CSGO. And I was just like, how, why, how, and, and what? And I think often about that. Not in like a fond way, but like if the monkey want the nanners, we'll give them the nanners. I will give you the nanners, and you will give me the nanners. New stream idea, Brendan. I'm not going to shave my balls while playing CSGO. Okay, can you elaborate on the ball shaver? There was a guy, and this is like a while ago. This is like a year or two ago, or just a couple of years ago, where there was like a guy who he he was streaming uh, CSGO, and he just he was just... Oh, fucker. Goddamn son of a bitch. Damn it, I knew it. Uh, there was just a guy who streamed CSGO and he was just, eh, we got, he got like some sub goal or something. And then he pulled down cam, pulled his pants down and just shaved his balls. I don't, I don't know what it was. He just, he shaved his balls on cam. I don't know why. Brendan, how would you feel if me or another one of your viewers, because a huge YouTuber with almost millions of followers raised your stream just to watch it with like nearly 10 K viewers? Why? Why would anybody want that? Who the fuck would want that? Chat would explode. Just like, who would want that? I don't want that. You don't want that. We don't want that. That's scary. Here's the problem is, is if, like, that ever happened, I would have performance anxiety, and, uh, one, flaccid, and two, um, I would just, I, I'd probably just turn the stream off and be like, no fucking way. Be like, nope. Brendan, we should collab sometime. I have eight followers. Whoa, sub for sub? Are you fucking serious? We don't want that many people. That's scary. That ain't happening. Don't worry. We're not gonna make it big. It's not happening. I'm not worried about it. I never worry about the, like, make it big mentality. 
I'm always going to be your little freak, and if I'm ever a big freak, I would be very afraid about the state of the world. But I... <laughs> if if Brent Daniel content ever went mainstream, I'd be very, very, very concerned about the state of the world. I'm Brent Daniel. I. <laughs> You ain't cut out for big time. You ain't built for these streets, Brendel. I'd survive. I'd be fine. All it takes is one TikTok, Brendan. No, it don't. No, it don't. It does not only take one TikTok. That's a logical fallacy. The idea that it's like one clip, one moment, one thing that'll propel you. It's not. It's a series of those things. And then also getting lucky enough to have people want to be interested in them. I've had TikToks get millions of views. It does not matter. Uh, in the long run, one TikTok doesn't matter. One clip, one TikTok, one funny thing doesn't matter. Um, if people see the funny clip, uh, let's let's run this back algor like algorithm wise. Uh, I've talked about this before. Do you want to guess for a TikTok that gets 1.5 million views? You want the depressing truth with links enabled with links on there. I want you to guess how many people followed the, the Twitch stream from that. Let's talk about it because I think it's very fucking funny in like an incredibly sad way. Because it's when people are like, dude, you just got to be posting TikToks and stuff. And it's like, no, you don't. You got to be posting infinite content forever. I see some numbers. I see some numbers. One. One. Yeah. That's that's how incredibly weird and hard it is to grow an audience. Like it just it, it it's it's it, when it happens to somebody it's not just because one TikTok got like famous or like got like big, it's because it got big and it was a perfect showcase of their personality. Right? Did you ask them all, Brendan? No, but I watched the numbers after I posted that TikTok, TikTok and after I got big. They, after that TikTok got big, because uh, it was a Pokemon Infinite Fusion one, uh, I watched the numbers and it was like, they went up by one. I was like, oh, okay. You can't be stressed about stuff like that. You can't be. Because if you stress over stuff like that, or you stress over numbers, it's just going to be detrimental. Was it Milk Orb? It was like either Milk Orb or one of the other ones. I can't remember. Yeah, one video, one clip. Um, uh, it's it's not just even if even if you get one video, one clip, uh, incredibly popular. That's not all that matters. That's not the only thing that matters. Um, people build themselves up like the, the, oh, like it was that one clip or it was that one moment. That's when people started paying attention. And it's like, no, it's not just that. It's, it's a whole myriad of different factors. It is not, it is not just like the, the one moment. As much as I wish, you know, it was that one moment. We're not in the age where, like, one funny moment will propel you into superstardom. Um, the perception is still there, but we're not in that age, and we haven't been in that age for a while. Uh, short-form content is legitimately so banal. It's so, it's so banal. Um, people will just scroll through their feeds, and unless you... The, the perfect clip is a myth, because the per to get the perfect clip... You have to A, get lucky enough for the system to like you, and then B, have a clip that showcases everything the viewer wants to see in that one moment. And yeah, it's not about just one. You need multiple over and over again. You need a hammering home at this person that, whoa, this is a person I want to watch. Um, There's no such thing. It's a myth. The, the, the one perfect clip thing is like part of the, um, the American dream, like the luck, like I'm going to be a superstar. I'm going to be amazing. You need A, you need to be consistent, and then B, you need to get lucky. Like, you need to basically win the lottery five times in a row. And then it'll be consistent. 
Like, it ain't just winning the lottery. It's winning the lottery like five to eight times in a row. Um, I'm not saying that I'm, like, funny or that I'm, like, a good streamer, mind you, because, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't fucking care. Um, but, like... It needs to be, like, a literal 10 out of 10 funny as hell clip, and then it needs to also be, like, oh, uh, set into the algorithm. I mean, look at two examples already. Um, look at some of the new-gen Twitch streamers that are getting really big, like Queso and Jinxie. Those are my two examples for, like, guys that are getting big. And you know they're getting big because other streamers are like, hey, hey, come on my stream. Hey, you got the, uh, you have the touch right now. You have the, you have the, you have the, you have the, the viral touch. Please, please, please. Um, look at guys like that. And why they're popular is because they have, uh, both of them, perfect 10 out of 10 clips on repeat ad infinitum. And then the clips that they post on, like, TikTok that get viral are, a lot of the time, the same exact clip, but slightly different. Where it's like, uh, Queso's a streamer. Yeah, his chat makes fat jokes. Because he's a large man. Um, that's it. And then he'll read the fat jokes out, and then they go into, like, Twitch clip that, put that on TikTok. Twitch clip that, put that on TikTok. That's it. Uh, Jinxie's a uh, Rainbow Six streamer, and he does, like, weird faces and says weird things. And that's, like, that gets all clipped into a uh, similar vibe, and that gets posted to TikTok. So, like, that's, I, I mean... Uh, part and parcel is both of those people also have large audiences of children. Um, and so it's a, it's a perfect storm of children will never want to watch my content. And I am actually perfectly okay with that. Actually, I discourage that. Uh, do not want kids watching my content because I say fuck, dude. And that's going to mess up your brain hole. Um, but that's uh, part and parcel like one. Your content has to be friendly enough for a child to want to engage with it, because that's where a lot of, like, groundswell support comes from. Two, you have to get lucky enough for your content to get out there. And then three, you have to be consistent to the point where, like, if you take, like, one day break, that's a lottery ticket missed, babe. Um, Because by the time you get to, like, your 20s and 30s, you've kind of already cemented your tastes... Uh, so even if you find new people, uh, it's rarer for an adult to stick around. Uh, especially if you got, like, a job and a full life outside. Like, geez, dude. Like, go outside. Have some fun in the sun. Um, you, you are more unlikely to try out, like, a new streamer or a new content. And children will just be like, I will consume everything that is put in front of me. You put this in my trough and I will love it. It's rarely even the streamer clipping and playing. It's usually other people. No, that's why I appreciate the hell out of clips. Like, if I say something funny and chat clips it, I love that. That's one of my favorite pieces of community engagements. Because I'm like, fuck yeah. I feel so, I feel so lame going into Twitch and being like, is this funny? I will clip this and I will put this on the TikTok. <laughs> like, I gotta promote the stream. Was this a funny bit? <sighs> Maybe I will clip this and put this on the TikTok. <laughs> Was this a funny bit? Maybe. I will I will clip this and I will put this on the TikTok. Um No, that's stuff that makes me feel like when I stream and there are a couple clips, I'm like, hey, I probably did an okay job if I was funny enough to get a couple clips. When I stream and there are no clips, I'm like, Yeah, maybe that was a bad stream. I gotta go and work on this. But also, like, I don't know, you can't, like, force it. Like, if you don't want to clip things, yeah, that's fine. Because, like, I also don't know... Sometimes I don't know what's funny. I don't. I don't know what's funny. So I'll say a bunch of random shit, and then some of it's still just, like, lame and not funny. And I'm like, this is the funniest shit ever. You should maybe tell jokes while you stream. Yeah, you should tell that to your mom. She keeps giggling while I'm hitting it from the back. Tell your mom she should stop farting when she comes. I'm sorry. Fuck. <sighs> Activate the demon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't make fun of me. The demon's out. 
<laughs> you can't make fun of me. The demon's out. I'm sorry. You can't do this. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Now, Fortnite's my no brain game. I don't worry about, uh, like playing the game well or even making funny jokes. I just worry about the, uh, the vibes. I want rancid vibes and I want them now. I <laughs> want stun locked me, not gonna lie. Only reason I call it back shots is because I fuck your mom on the golf <laughs> on the golf course. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, fuck. I don't know how, but your mom got a birdie. They put that shit on the score sheet. I put your mom on the bore sheet. Oh, my brain. Increased demonic behavior. All in one. I don't know about that, but I was 19 over par with your mom. I kept fucking missing. The ah, <laughs> uh, well, my dad heard that and he's gonna hit me now. <laughs> no, fuck. Oh God. I can't do your mom jokes. I can't do it. I can't do it. I always say one vile one and then I fuck up every single your mom joke afterward. <sighs> what about my mom jokes? I'm not gonna- my mom's going through a tough time right now. I'm not gonna make my mom jokes. My mom's got it rough right now. She doesn't need- she doesn't need my mom jokes in her life. Why'd I kill the bot? You go. Oh, down here. Hello. Gotcha. Oh no. I'm so fucking sorry. I'm so. I am so fucking sorry. That was not nice. That was evil. And that is why the sniper is the most evil weapon this fucking entire season. Damn, son. Where'd you find that? The back alley with your mom. The way you're talking, Brendan, it sounds like my mom has it rough, too. <sighs> you say that, but your mom's a fucking freak, honestly. I don't know why, but she wanted to fuck inside of a waterbed. I almost fucking drowned, dude. Swear to God, I saw God. You know who else doesn't need mom jokes in her life? My mom. Me when I'm 13 in 2006 and I'm playing Xbox Live. That's the th the value of my humor right now. I hate this bit. I hate this bit too. I wish I could get off of it, but you know, just like your mom, I'm stuck. I'm f <laughs> Brendan, 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 Brendan. Stop. 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 Which is coincidentally what your mom said. Stop. I need to stop. I need help. I need medical attention. I was talking about macrame. I'm terrible at macrame. Your mom fucking hates it when I do macrame. Oh, you know who else needs moms? Mars. Mars needs moms. It's okay. You can make fun of my mom. <laughs> You're not real. You're a bot. Macromedia Flash Player? Macromedia Flash Player needs mom. 
I'm so fucking brain dead right now. You have no idea. I can. I. Oh my god. My processor is uh, like my my brain processor right now is malfunctioning to the highest state. I am. I am not. A, I am a creature of nothing. Ah shit! I got owned. All right, I am I am brain dead. Uh, I'm gonna end stream. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking go and uh, drink a caffeine and go walk with my wife. Uh, thank y'all for coming to the stream, though. Thank y'all for hanging out, and chilling. Uh, hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Uh, before I go, I'm gonna chill like I always do. Uh, creator code Brent Daniel. If you buy anything in the Epic Game Store, helps me out a ton. If you don't use the Epic Game Store, don't worry about it. There's always videos over on Brent Daniel too. You can check those out as well. Um, hope y'all have a good morning, afternoon, good evening, and good night. Uh, and I'll be on tomorrow for something else that it doesn't ha include the b b brain death. So, b bye.